Story so far. The Frozen Horror. Hero Quest. The Barbarian Quest Pack. All right. So, Brave Adventurers. We had a Barbarian. And he made his way through three quests. Now, he did, he did uh, apparently lose his life in the last one. However, he was revived by a brave knight. A brave knight known as Blue Star. And, of course, Strangeth Bus, the barbarian, uh, affected the rescue of the great elder of his tribe. And there was a third hero, a mighty hero known as Knucklehead. <laughs> Cylons. Uh, no, no. Not this, not in this universe, not yet. Um, yeah, where the the Space Crusade crossover has yet to happen. I did a couple demos to show that the combat was possible, but yeah, we have a brave guardian knight known as Knucklehead, and he lost his life fighting for treasure and fighting for fighting. He was going through, he was killing monsters left and right. He was gathering up gold like it was going out of style, but unfortunately, eventually, he was taken down. Now, however. Um, in the in the quest, his body was found. Um, one of these uh, chaos shamans had had grabbed him and was going to try to corrupt him and revive him as uh, one of his uh, evil creatures. However, he was stopped, and they were able to take his body back into town. They were able to find uh, some monks at the temple who, with their medicinal skills, they were able to bring him back from the brink. His body was preserved in the ice somehow. Miraculously, he was able to come through. <laughs> he was always trying to kill you. Yeah. Uh, that's right. So, we kept trying to kill you off, but you, like any good hero, he doesn't stay dead. So, uh, Knucklehead is alive and well. Uh, he did make a generous donation to the, the uh, temple, and it's going to go to the kids, because he cares about the kids. Um, it's going to go to uh, helping people out with mental health in the game world. Now, for real though, PSK, I really appreciate what you do for charity. And that challenges me because as I become more successful, it's like, all right, I should be giving back too. So I'm going to keep that in mind. Um, I know we helped out Shadzar with his family, but there's other worthy charities out there I'd be willing to support. So yeah. I can go on your stream, check out what you've got going. If you've got something that you want to promote, go ahead and post it in the chat. And if other people want to donate too, that's something cool. Because, yeah, we give money to each other. That's kind of fun. We, you know, give subs and everything. But actually giving it to a charity that actually helps people, that's a cool thing. So I think in game, yeah, his character likes to loot and fight. But at the same time, he also has a heart. He likes to give back. So that's what he did. So he's back. And so we've got... The two knights, and we've got the Barbarian, but there's a fourth slot open. Who could this other hero be? No, he's helped you. I'm here to help build your brand. Yeah. Yeah, and PSK, I always appreciate it. I appreciate the advice, the options. I know you still want us to do some kind of virtual thing. Um, I know we just haven't had the time to really get into that, but at some point, we will. Um, I'm, I'm open to, open to that because how cool would it be if all of you guys could log in and just like lock your moves in and go. All right. So let me get into the, the story of this quest pack and we're going to just jump right in here. Some of you have heard this already, but I'm going to read it anyway. A message from mentor. Welcome mighty barbarian to the land of your youth. It seems only yesterday that the tribal elders gave you leave to explore the many wonders of the warm lands to the south. You return now as a renowned warrior, tall and strong, well versed in the skills of battle. Happy though your homecoming is, bitter tidings are on the minds of the tribal elders. They wearily tell you why you've been summoned back to aid your people in their time of need. An ancient evil! Long thought banished has arisen to threaten the Northlands once more. The frozen horror has burst forth from its icy prison, where it has rested these last many years, recovering its strength and awaiting Zargon's signal. At last, its master has called it, and the frozen horror has returned to its ancient seat of power deep within Ice Mountain. It has regained the scepter of glacial majesty, an evil artifact of vast power. As we speak, 
the ancient evil of the frozen horror is reviving its minions and enacting its plans to cover the Northlands and the Empire in a shroud of deadly ice. Your people seek a champion to oppose the evil of the frozen horror. You've been called in hopes that you might prove to be that champion, and now you have proven yourself. To determine your worthiness, the elders had set before you three dangerous quests. These were to be undertaken by you alone. However, due to the fact that several other barbarians had fallen before you, guardian knights were sent to make sure that the task was completed, and, and together you did triumph. You survived the test. You led your companions now to the depths of the Ice Mountain. Here you must find and destroy the Scepter of Glacial Majesty before that it achieves its full power. Only when the Scepter is no more can you confront the Frozen Horror and finally destroy it forever. You must call upon all your courage and skill, Barbarian. The greatest perils you have ever faced await within Ice Mountain. Great, too, is the treasure that will be yours if you succeed. Among the many riches to be found is the Amulet of the North, an ancient artifact that is said to grant its wearer marvelous skills. Good luck, mighty warrior. The fates of many depend upon you. And then there's Mentor Seal. So you triumphed through the, Van the Zanon Pass. And you found uh, the door to Ice Mountain. After that, you completed the Trial by Ice. And here you uh, encountered the Chaos Warrior Crag and ended his career, eliminating a threat to the surrounding villages. And then finally, in the rescue, not only did you bring back Knucklehead, um, a great warrior against evil, you also eliminated uh, the threat of the Chaos Warriors who had captured the village elder. Now the great elder Gothar was rescued before he could be finished off by these Chaos Warriors. And he was able to find the, am the uh, not the Amulet of the North, however, he did get the Armband of Ice. The Armband of Ice is very valuable because um, it is infused with a warming power that allows you to resist certain uh, ice attacks. And so it's very useful, So the bar but only a Barbarian can use it. So he has the Armband of Ice now. And also there was a gold reward, which was given for his safe return. So there is some gold. So right now, let me just show you. Just toggle off the story. So there's the character sheets that I've been working with. I know you can't see it super well, but the Barbarian has a battle axe, so he attacks with four. He's got a shield, a helmet, and chainmail, so he defends with five. So he's got some great defense. Eight body points, two mind, of course. And he has uh, 475 gold coins. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good haul right there. Yeah, 475 gold. So we can, in a moment, I'm just going to put up the armory and we can decide what we want to buy. So 475... Uh, Blue Star did not pick up any additional gold, but I mean they do have uh, quite a few potions. So there's a healing plus four. There's a potion of warmth. There's a vial of holy water. Um, there's Mithril, which is like magic resistance, uh, protects you from damage causing chaos attacks. There is an extra helmet, which can go to Knucklehead. Hey, PSK. Um, okay, so now the uh, the two knights, so they have quite a bit of gear between them. There's a short sword, which right now Knucklehead has a short sword, a helmet, and a shield. So that's four defense, but only two attack. Now Blue Star has a broad sword, which is three. A crossbow, which is ranged, that's three. Uh, he's got a shield, plate armor. Now the knights are good because they can wear plate armor and it doesn't slow him down at all. So he's got five defense. So I think we probably want to buy a weapon for, for Knucklehead. All right, so let me just bring up the armory here and I can show you what I'm, what I'm looking at. What am I looking at here? 
And once again, this is Elviler's work here. So let me just see what we got. That's not it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm pretty sure I labeled it. But maybe I didn't. Sorry, Elviler, we'll get your stuff out here momentarily. Oh, that's the alchemist shop. Oh yeah, we can buy potions as well. I apologize, folks. Oh, here it is. There, I did have it. Okay, so here's our armory. I know it's uh, it's kind of zoomed in there, but the bit, the idea is the same. So we've got the battle axe already. Short sword. I know these are just the prices. This doesn't tell you like what they do. But for four seventy five, let's see. So knucklehead, um, I would suggest an, a weapon. What would you like to buy? Um, maybe a longsword, uh, battle axe. I mean, if we pull the money together, because really, Strange Bus has everything that he could want. I realized class. Okay, so you're a knight. The knight has seven body points. Two mine points. Uh, if he wears armor, he has no encumbrances or anything from wearing armor. Right now, he already has a shield. He already has a helmet. But his weapon is only a short sword. So a stronger sword would be like a long sword. That would upgrade him to three attack dice and do diagonal. A battle axe would do four without the diagonal. A crossbow would be ranged, three. But if he did the crossbow, he would just, like... Up close, you'd have two with a short sword. Range three. Um, the rapier is is a new weapon. So that's still only two attack dice, but it is diagonal. And it has a little bit of a special feature, the rapier. If the enemy attacks you and misses, you get to counterattack. Kind of cool, huh? So even though it's not your turn. Um, oh, oh, good question. So PSK is asking about the, the battle axe. So there's two different axes. The big battle axe is the 450 gold coins up here. That's basically the strongest weapon. The hand axe is only two attack dice. And you might say, well, why would you ever want a hand axe? Well, the hand axe can be thrown. And I will let you retrieve it. Normally it's lost when it's thrown, but I'll let you retrieve it. So it's basically like a, a strong weapon that you can throw. Of course, once you toss it away, you're going to have to have another way to fight. So yeah, the normal battle axe is a two-handed weapon. So you can't combine a shield with a battle axe. Now, if the knight gets rid of his shield, he's going to have a problem. Because he has these three skills that basically require the shield. Or let me just uh, show you here. So the knight has uh, stalwart, which requires a shield. That would basically bring you back from zero mind or body points to one. Yeah, I know. I know that. Yeah, so PSK, um, Hero Quest is not perfectly realistic. They have some problems. So, yeah, plate armor shouldn't slow you down. Wizards should be able to use swords. Well, wizards don't exist. You know, <laughs> elves and dwarves, sorry. Well, I guess there are dwarves. But, yeah, I mean, at a certain point, we're just kind of making it up. But yeah, in, in this game, the crossbow and the longsword are one-handed weapons. But the battle axe is two-handed, the staff is two-handed. That's how they've decided to dilly, divvy it out. So yeah, if you uh, if you are a knight and you take away the shield, you're going to lose stalwart and you're going to lose shield block. Now you could have a battle axe and like stow it and use it later, but I mean... You're going to be switching back and forth. It's going to take a, a turn for you to switch. That's always a that's always a trick because the person's like, "Oh, I take their armor off. I put it back on. I whip the weapon out. I take it." You know, it's like, "Hey, we're not trying to cheat here." So I don't know. If I were you, I would go. I mean, you do what you want. 
But I would say, I mean, if you want the rapier, uh, that's pretty cheap, 250 gold coins. Or you could go with the longsword, crossbow. If you want to upgrade your body armor, you could get yourself some chainmail. Or you could go with, well, you can't afford plate. It's too expensive. What do I gain? Yeah. So PSK, are you asking what do you gain from a... <laughs> well, it's 850 gold. In-game gold. And you've got 475 to spend. Now, you can sell your short sword, but you're going to need another weapon instead. But now you'd only get 75 more gold from the short sword, which is still not quite enough. I know. Got to get more treasure. I want new skills if I get an axe. That's an interesting thought. That's an interesting thought. Actually, I like the way you think, because... You're not letting the game hold you back. So, if you get rid of the shield, you're going to lose stalwart and shield block. But instead, I could issue you some of these skill cards. These combat cards that we've been using thus far. Which, there's a whole deck of them. So let me get those out. Yeah, I could give you a couple of those instead. That's right. That's absolutely right. I mean, we're not going to take it uh, too far. I still like using the game as a base for our fun. And I just got to find out what I did with that stack of cards. But yeah, it, it it's your choice. If you if you want the um... okay, so you want the battle axe and you want some uh, new skills. So I would basically just draw you. Uh... I draw you two of these. All right. John Tax got axe. Sorry, <laughs> I went. I uh, went back in time to Warcraft 2 There, the troll axe throwers. If anybody remembers those guys, be like John Tax got axe for you. All right, so 475. So we've got 25 gold coins now, and we've got a battle axe for Knucklehead. And he's just going to stow the shield. So I'm not saying you have to sell it off. And so... That means stalwart and shield block are not usable. But you're going to get some other skills instead. So let's... Uh, sell it. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, so for the shield, let's see, you'd get... 75 you get 75 okay this is a custom made knight right here that's 150 okay so you've got 175 gold to spend if you want to you can buy new skills well you don't have to buy the skills I'll give them to you I'll just give you two more skills to replace the ones that you lost I gotta shuffle this deck here, forcing you to use the chat. <laughs> yeah, I, I thank you for the for the lesson. Um, two free skills. However, you have one fifty gold to spend on equipment or potions. Yeah, and I know that the potion descriptions are, aren't all up there. I mean, it could be healing, it could be strength, it could be uh, defense. Just tell me uh, if you want to buy potions instead of uh, weaponry or armor. Just let me know what you're looking for, and we'll see what we can find for you. Alright, so we draw two skills here. Disarm and Capture. Oh, cool. So you can take a prisoner, monster prisoner. And what's another one? Heroic Sacrifice. You must take, take the blow intended for another member of your party. Okay. So those are the two you've got. So let's see. With 150 gold, what could you buy? Not a lot. Let's 
see, you could get a potion of dexterity. That would make it easy to jump a trap. You don't like the second one? You don't like the heroic sacrifice? <laughs> 50 gold. Okay, use some of your channel points. Um, I don't have a 50 for that. Let me see. You drive a hard bargain, sir. Well, here's the thing, though. The chat can buy you a potion. If you're playing, the chat can buy you a potion. So if you're not happy with these, I mean, you've got them. But... They can buy you other stuff. Game to redraw. Yeah. Okay. How about this? As a compromise, I'll give you a 50% chance. So this will be an uncommon feat. It'll be a 50% chance to redraw a card. If it's a skull, you get to redraw. If not, you're stuck with it for now. And no gold is going to be used. Okay, it's a skull. So you get to redraw. So you want to redraw the heroic sacrifice? <laughs> He's a shrewd negotiator, folks. All right. Because once I let you do it, now i got to let everybody do it. Or I just got to make a rule against it. Okay, so we're going to draw a different one. Rallying Cry. Okay, that's a good one. Let's do my job. Yep. Uh, so this one would give basically your everybody uh, may roll one extra attack and defend die. So that's a really good one. So, okay. Cool. Alright, so you got your two skills. And as far as the potions go, let me just see the distribution here. I mean, the fact that you have no more healing. Of course, there's really only one healing potion. Oh, yeah, and he's got the Wolfsbane potion, which only removes the curse. It doesn't make you into a werewolf. Sorry. <laughs> Not this time. I have one potion. Let me just check. I didn't see that. All right, let me look at the, um, the Q. See, I, I thought I removed the Q, so there was no waiting. see just hop over to the rewards request Q yeah because amalgamash is not playing so I mean he can I mean he can uh, redeem something <laughs> stupid wolfbane potion well I mean eventually it will come in handy just not right now Amalgamash, are you uh, are you buying a potion for our intrepid hero here? It's your choice. See, you got to win the crowd over so that they uh, help you out. It's like professional wrestling. You got to get uh, get them on your side. All right, I'm checking the queue. I don't see a potion here. He already bought it. Oh, from last time, you mean? Oh, no, no, no. I know what you're saying. Who else is playing? So, right now, it's just PSK. He's the only one uh, in the game. But anybody else can join. So, Jacer J, are you going to be uh, one of the heroes? Oh yeah, I missed this. Gorilla Miniature Games. Sorry about that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Wow, I missed that. Okay. Yeah, there is uh, there is one potion. Okay. Oh, cool. So, Jace or Jay, well, who would you like to be? The Barbarian, or would you like to be another knight? <laughs> well, you know, I actually bought a potion, so... You can you can have that one. That was a freebie. That was for anybody. So, all right. Let's see what he gets. Hmm. 
I'm just going to go back to the channel here. <laughs> All right, so we've got the potions deck here. Uh, these should have. Let me just shuffle these. I may not have shuffled these adequately. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And actually, it's not that much time before uh, Strange Bus will be joining us, so we can always have a run in. Who has the crossbow? Actually, um, Blue Star has the crossbow. So if you take charge of him, you'll have a crossbow. Strange Bus has a battle axe. And full armor, basically. Knucklehead just got himself a battle axe also. He's got a helmet. He sold the shield. Oh, that doesn't count. We're not... I may, I told myself we're not going to count poison as one of the potions in between quests. Forgot he got one. All right. Magic resistance. Okay. <laughs> Shield is lame. Okay, so there's one. And you know what? I'll just go ahead and count it. You get another one. Potion of healing. Okay. All right, so that's up to four. So plus four and then uh, magic resistance. Okay, so you got some healing. All right. Poison for the weapon. Hey, you know, I wish you'd said something before I... Um... Hmm. Creativity. It's one body point. Hmm. You want to do that instead of the magic resistance? Yeah, I know. You know what, PSK? You're right, because there is a bit of a delay... So let's, instead of the magic resistance, let's say that you can use the potion. You're too savvy for that. So instead of drinking it, you can use it to uh, give your weapon one extra body point of damage one time. So if you coat, coat your axe with the poison, you can score uh, an extra strong hit. Nice. Think out of the box. Yeah, man. Let's just adjust that lighting there. Okay. All right. So, Jace or Jay, um, who are you going to be? The Barbarian or the Knight? And I mean, really, if it matters to you, we can we can just trade weapons. I mean, do you want the broadsword and the crossbow, which means you have three attack adjacent, three attack ranged, or just the battle axe with four up close? Oh, so you're giving it to him? Okay. Jace or Jay, do you accept the poison? <laughs> Blue star. Okay. Okay. I get it now. Okay, so Jacer J, I'm going to write it on here so I don't forget. Jacer J is going to be taking the role of a knight. It's a Blue Star's old character. He's got a broadsword, attacks with three close up, crossbow, three attack at range. He has magic resistance. He has poison. He can uh, dip his crossbow or his broadsword in poison one time to do one extra body point of damage if he scores a hit, of course. If he doesn't score a hit, doesn't matter. And of course, as a knight, he still has his shield and plate armor, so he still has those three knight skills. So I'm just going to have to keep track who's got what. Uh, Knucklehead has his rallying cry. 
and he also has the disarm and capture. And so he can just he just has to tell me when he's using those skills. So Rallying Cry is just from now until the end of the turn, it affects the whole party. Disarm and capture. If you roll enough combat dice to kill an opponent, you can choose to capture them for information instead. Alright. And yeah, join us in the Discord if you want. Uh, let me just hop over there. So we've got Quest Talk. So if you go into Quest Talk, you should be able to talk. Yep. That's right, JacerJ22. Thank you. Okay, so we've got two heroes. Uh, two brave knights. Two knights of valor. We'll be entering battle. Now, do we have a third? Or are we going to... Are we going to go ahead and just uh, get in there before Strange Bus uh, comes and he'll have to... I mean, the joke was last time that he was uh, he was uh, knocking back a few at the tavern and he was a little bit late. <laughs> it's like, hey, we, war we warmed him up for you. Yep. Now you both are looted up. I mean, it took several quests and uh, several passes with... Uh, near near death experiences before you finally got to where you are today. So it was no joke. All right, so let's get the quest going. Thank you guys. Okay, Chaser J. All right, if you've never played Hero Quest before, it's really simple. Yeah, Discord. Okay. I'm going to jump into quest chat and make sure you can hear me. So you can actually talk to me if you want. You don't have to if you'd rather do it in the chat. All right. Test, test, check, check. Can you guys still hear me? Can you still hear me? People in the chat? Oh, great. Can you still hear me? Oh, good. Okay. All right, so let's get started. This is the first official group quest, and it is called the Glacial Gate. You've done well, Barbarian. Well, you have, but you, <laughs> you have done well, Brave Knights. The tribal elders have appointed you their champions to oppose the Frozen Horror and its minions. Now you and your companions are ready to assault Ice Mountain. An iron door is your entry into the outer chambers of the Frozen Horror's subterranean fortress. Find the wooden exit door to enter the deep recesses of the mountain. Okay, so we gotta find where that is. Alright. I apologize, I gotta get out the fancy door, because this is a fancy quest. Nothing but the best for my mighty heroes. Easy to play me while I'm AFK. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, that's the thing. We, we tried to play kind of how you were playing, but, I mean, yeah, it's... Oh, he would never do this. He'd never do that. Sometimes you just don't get good rolls, and that's what happens. You know, you can only do so many last-minute saves, and... But, yeah, it's like you can always say, hey, I wasn't here, so it wasn't really me. I did what I came for. All right. All right, let me just uh, throw an announcement into Discord so people know what's going on. Okay, we've got two heroes. We're starting the quest. Please join us in Twitch. Chat and or Discord's quest talk to interact. Thanks. All right. Thanks, PSK, once again. Yeah, I appreciate the support. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, if, if we don't hear from you, we'll just go ahead and play. Um, 
and if you jump in and go, wait a minute, <laughs> don't do that, we'll uh, we'll take your word on it because it is your character. So, and if anybody has to go, someone else can always swap out. Yeah, three, um, Jacer J, three attack, five defense, seven body, two mind. Correct. And Knucklehead, he is going to have now four attack. Four defense, seven body, two mind. All right, so we've got the uh, the iron door is where we start. And yeah, I'm not going to be looking at Discord as much. So if you want to get my attention, make sure you do it in the Twitch chat, please. Fancy door, it's coming, it's coming. I'm getting the fancy door, the fancy door. We'll just turn our attention here to the top there, and the fancy door happens to be way, way up there in that corner. Oh, man. I'm just going to set these monsters aside. The first thing I do when I get a new place, I'm going to have a, a just a game room set up specifically for this. Because you have no idea how cramped it is right now. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. So we got the iron door. And we got our two heroes starting behind the door. And if you have your own dice, you can roll. Otherwise, I will be happy to roll for you. Thanks again, PSK. Yep, this is great. Okay, we're playing some hero quest. Yes, we are. The only thing I'm missing is... There we go. Okay. So how's the delay? There's just a little bit of a delay. So I'll be a little more generous with the uh, timing of things. All right, hold on. I'm going to have to restart the stream. Sorry. I hate it when this happens. Oh, no, there it goes. Came back. Nice. Nice. Okay, so 459. Yeah, it's about 10 seconds. Okay, so I'll be uh, I'll be generous with the timing of things. So let's see who goes first. Who goes first? Let's say um, Knucklehead. So Knucklehead goes first. Okay, I did a hand roll, but that's it's still valid. So that's five. So we're gonna open up the door, the iron door. It's a little bit sticky because it's uh it's really cold out, but he's strong. Creaks that, that iron door open. Steps into the room. Into the corridor actually. And now we have to reveal everything in the corridor. Those two points where he sees. And he can see all the way to the end. Now, of course, if there were any traps, he wouldn't see them because they have to be searched for. Same with secret doors. Um, but he does see some closed doors down the hall. First closed door is spotted here in that first room. And down the way, all the way towards the end, there is another door. So see where this double passage is? The next one over, there's a door. So it's just off camera. So let me just adjust the camera here. Yeah, here's where if we had like a digital board, we could just zoom in instantly. Or if I had some extra cameras. And because of that, we're going to say that um, you can also see the, the fact that there's a wall there. There's a double wall tile here. So door, wall, door. And so he's got four more uh, squares he can move. Should he go to the east or to the south? Now to the south, all you can see is this uh, stone wall there, and that's it. Got eagle vision. Just 
just go back here a bit. Okay, Knight, what is your choice? And if PSK isn't here, um, we can just go ahead and just go for him. Oh yeah, if anybody wants to vote in the chat, you can vote on the direction that he goes. Use some of your gold coins, just one. It only takes one gold coin. Channel point, you can use to vote and say, should he go east or south? Please vote now. I'll give you, let's say 20 seconds. If not, I'll go ahead and just choose for him. So east or south? And of course, if you're uh, on YouTube, it's not live. Sorry, you don't get to choose. Meanwhile, I'm going to check the chat and see who we've got now. Uh, it's loading as if we've got more people. Pushes him east. <laughs> it's like, get in there! <laughs> okay, Elverg is here. Welcome. Commander Root is here. Um, L.A. Kaylee or La Kaylee is here. Lana Ray is here. Weert or Weert. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Oh, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and repost the Discord link again so that if anybody does want to talk with us, you can go to Quest Talk. You can actually talk on the live stream. If you're bashful, you don't want to. Put your voice on the channel, that's okay. Um, you can just type away. Um, but see that link in the uh, Twitch chat? That is our Discord. Nice. Okay, excellent. Yes, and I do see it now. There's just a slight delay. So go east. So one, two. Now the question is, should he open the door? Or move on? I guess uh, continue east. If you want him to continue east, vote for east. Otherwise, we'll have him open that first door. Because it's kind of like, what should you do? Open the first door or go for the second door? Because there's another door down the way. I feel like PSK would go for the first door. Fight and loot. Yes. <laughs> See, he, he knows. Jacer J knows that treasure and fight, fight and loot, Whatever you want, however you want to phrase it, it's the same way. Okay, so he opens the door. If PSA comes in and goes, nope, nope, that's not what I'm doing. But I mean, this is his chance. He's doing other stuff. So I, I appreciate his support either way. All right, so we open the door and everything in the room is revealed except anything that would require searching. Just be warned, though. Occasionally there are traps that it's it even says in there, even, even if a thorough search doesn't reveal it. So there's two monsters. Now, despite the icy temperatures, you do uh, see a couple of abominations in the room. Big scaly monstrosities wielding wicked weapons. You certainly don't look friendly. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. That was one over. One, two three now he has enough movement he could step into the room and engage the first one in combat if you wanted to yeah <laughs> traps have been rough lately well yeah if you saw the last stream uh commander comrade commander i upgraded him uh comrade polsky yeah he fell into one pit he got out he fell into another pit <laughs> it was just like dang you know, and uh, that that last room in the rescue kills a lot of heroes. I've played it before, and yeah, it's like everybody makes it that far, maybe, and then they get killed by the traps. You've got mercenaries. It's like, yeah, go in there, guys, and then they all get killed. And it's like, shoot, <laughs> I got to do it all by myself. All right, so uh, should he step into the room? I mean, he does have a battle axe. Anybody object? I was gonna just have him go, go right in because that's how he's been playing. Now he's got two mighty monsters. Now these uh, abominations are no joke. They are pretty tough. They're not the toughest monster. I mean, there's a lot more monsters in here. So the abomination moves six squares, attacks with three, defends with three, two body points, and three mind points. 
So they're not a chaos warrior, but they're pretty strong. Stupid mod. <laughs> Go punch him in the face. All right. If by that you mean attack with your battle axe, I will do as you command. All right. Yeah, despite the larger squares, these minis take up a lot of room. Okay. So uh, if you go ahead and attack with your four, attack the first first one. I want to call them a Fimmer, because in the original game, they're Fimmers. Warhammer Fantasy Fimmers. Yeah, there, it's, it's an adjacent attack. So... You want to try an uncommon feat? All right. Let's try an uncommon feat. If it's a skull, you can apply the damage to both the monsters. So I'm going to modify what you said. You said if I get four skulls. I'm just going to let you do an uncommon feat. So 50% chance of success. If you don't get it, it's just going to be a regular attack. And you got a black shield. Sorry, regular attack. So you just attack the first guy with your four. And we're getting uh, we're getting an ad, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll anyway for you, because there is a, a 10 second delay. <laughs> Sheesh! <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, the the ad. Uh, I promise there's no trickery there. You got one skull. All right, so the monster defends. Yeah, with the uncommon feats, if you can uh, suggest some plausible stunt that they can pull, or get, we'll give you a 50% chance of success. All right, uh, no defense. So he gets a hit. So the first monster takes a hit. Oh yeah, and I was going to do this sound effect thing. Yeah, it is, man, I know. These darn dice. Alright, tell me if you can hear this. I'm just going to play a sound and you tell me if you can hear it. Ha! <laughs> Got he! Did you hear it? Got him. Did anybody hear the sound? You did. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> Got him. Okay. So uh, you hit the you hit the monster, and here's what happened. You took a you took a slice. Yep. Okay. Oh, so great. It worked even better than I thought. So there's your there's your hit. All right, second hero comes. So it's we it always starts off slow and then we get going. All right, so second knight, Jacer J, comes in with six, steps into the door. Which way do you want to go, Jacer J? You want to continue to help your friend, or do you want to go to the south? Attack again in five turns. Yep. Okay, so Jacer J, uh, what's East. All right, so you're going to enter the fray. So you got one, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in because it's a little hard to see here. It's a little hard to see. I like how you just teleported in. Okay. Hopefully this should be a little easier to see. See, if I had the money, there'd be a cameraman. He would just go right for it. Okay, so you're in the doorway. Right here, right now, you could, if you wanted to, shoot that first guy with your crossbow. Yep. Or you could step into the room, like, flank him and use your broadsword. So do you want to do the direct approach with your broadsword, or do you want to... Here, this might be even better. Let's look down. Okay. So you can actually shoot through the doorway if you want. Shoot him. Okay. 
All right, so you use three attack dice. Now, remember, you don't have to, but you do have that potion, uh, poison that you could dip your uh, crossbow bolt in for one extra body point of damage if it hits. But it's up to you if you want to use it now or save it. Do you want to do a regular attack with the crossbow? Okay, so you hit with two. Use it. Oh, okay, sweet. All right. Or what am I saying? So it's two, so it'd be three. Okay. So you shoot him, and it's three. Normally, I'd say you have to use it before you fire, but I know there's that 10-second delay, so we'll just let it go in your favor. Drop my pencil. Okay, so that's three, that's three uh, hits of damage against the... Abomination, let's see if he can defend against it. No defense. Wow. So you got him. Shot him. Shot him with a crossbow. The poison bolt. Took him out. Took him down. Down for the count. All right. <laughs> Got him! All right. Okay. So now it is my turn. It is Zargon's turn. Zargon is none too pleased that you're taking out his warriors. So he's going to come in. All right. So the first monster, you know, it's it's kind of a foregone conclusion. He's going to attack. So he's going to attack with three. Let me just put the movement dice. I'm not sure why I grabbed movement dice. Monsters have predefined movement. Okay, uh, one skull. And so he's attacking Knucklehead, who has four defense dice. So he's going to defend. What am I saying? No, no, he has three because he got rid of his shield. So he's got three defense dice. Excuse me. His, he's got his base defense plus the helmet. I forgot about that. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so one skull. He rolls three. No defense. He took one hit of damage. He's down to six. See, what I really need is a soundboard. Like, on sound alerts, I can click on the stuff, but it isn't quite fast enough. All right. All right, and the monster's not going to move anymore, so we're back to... We're back to Knucklehead. So he's going to attack the monster with four. Just like he said. Yeah, if anybody in the chat wants to uh, buy a potion for the heroes, they can. Use your channel points, your gold coins. If you want to buy a monster for me, as I'm fighting the fighting the heroes, you can. I mean, we got the whole quest planned out, but you know anything can happen. If you think, oh man, it's too easy, it's too hard, um, you, can, you can help uh, even the odds. All right, so uh, three skulls. Wow, that was a fine hit. And so the monster defends with three. Oh, come on, that's a cockeyed. Oh, okay, so he blocked two of them. But then he did get hit by one. <laughs> it totally is. Hey, you know, those are the dice, my friend. All right, so uh, you've damaged the monster. Actually, you know, what am I saying? He's dead. Because I forgot, he's already taken one hit. So, he's gone. So what are you complaining about? 
<laughs> Maybe you didn't overkill him, but you still got him. <laughs> got him! All right. Okay. So now that uh, PSK's knucklehead, the knight, has cleared out the room, um, we've got Jacer J coming up. Sorry, guys. I'll try to go a little quicker here. Five. Okay, so you step into the room. Man, it reeks of all the blood and guts from all those monsters. Uh, one, two. I just assumed you were going into the room. Jacer J, is that cool? You going into the room? Because you were going that way anyway. Okay, so you have an action. Do you want to search for something, or what do you want to do? All right. Got it, Jacer J. So, search for traps, search for treasure, search for secret doors. Or you could just keep using your movement to move to the door. Choice is yours. Search for loot. Hey, that's what I like to hear. All right, so we did, sh we did shuffle the treasure deck previously. So we've got some extra cards in here, so it's a little bigger. All right, first one. Gold! Amidst old rags, tattered fur robes, and soil blankets, you find a collection of 15 gold coins. All right. Off to a good start. So we got some 15 gold. We'll add to your pouch here. All right, I have no monsters, so back to Knucklehead. Now, each room can be searched by each hero. So, is he going to search for gold, folks? Hmm, let's think about this. Has he ever done that in the past? Yes, he has. <laughs> Treasure and fight, I believe, were his exact words. So, uh, let's just have him search and see what he's won. Assuming he doesn't get a wandering monster or hazard, of course. So, he searches the room. And he gets gold! A meager haul of just 10 gold coins found in the pocket of worn, smelly jerkin. Still, 10 gold. What's the Discord? Hey, Mr. Bob Marston. Welcome, sir. I'm going to go ahead and send you the link. You are perfectly welcome at HeroQuest Fans Discord. Thanks for joining us on Twitch as well. Go in there, and once you get in there, there is a quest chat. If you want to talk. So we've got a third hero potentially on the way. Um, and we'll be happy to give you instructions. Okay. So both these guys got some treasure. Let me just see. Because I think we did talk earlier. All right. Let me just flip over to Discord. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how Discord has gone. We've gotten so many new members. And special thanks to PSK, to Amalgamash, to Strange Bust, everybody that's promoted us. I mean, I'm sure there's people that have promoted us. We've ha never even heard about it. Comrade Polsky. Um, Bone Shooter. All kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. So, um... Bob Marston, when you join us, um, if you go to, yeah, just accept the invite, and then all you got to do is go to, it'll say, like, general, and then you'll see voice channels, and there's quest talk. If you're not ready to join the uh, adventure yet, if you'd rather just follow along the chat, that's cool, too. Anybody's welcome. <laughs> loot yeah see psk and uh jacer j are from the same school i mean they're both knights they're both soldiers of fortune they're both uh collecting that collecting that treasure killing those monsters and collecting that treasure so yeah and uh bob marston if you are wondering we are playing the glacial gate so the tribal elders have approved the mission uh, after showing bravery and gallantry against uh, the forces of zargon uh, the group is ready to assault Ice Mountain. The Iron Door leads into the the outer chambers of the Frozen Horror Subterranean Fortress. You're looking for the Wooden Door to enter the deeper recesses of the mountain. 
Now, of course, we'd have to figure out what hero you're going to use. But we do have a barbarian that's ready to go, or we could draw out another hero pretty easily. Hero Quest is a very flexible game. And I'm, I'm having fun already. I don't know about you. Okay, so uh, while we're waiting for that, um, let's see. No monsters to control, so Knucklehead, it is all you now. You've already searched the room for treasure, so you could search it for traps or secret doors, or you could move on to the next door. You did roll an 11. I think typically he likes to just move from room to room. Now, it does pay to... Uh, you got to buy armor, weapons, and potions. Salute is the way to go. Yep. Bash it open. Okay. Bash open the door, you mean? Or you mean search for secret doors? Roll dice. Okay. As you wish. Now, I do want to point out that if at any time you suspect a square is dangerous, normally you got to search for traps to, to do that. And I noticed that in the last couple of games, people haven't searched for traps. And there's a lot of traps out there. So if you don't search for traps, you won't know which traps are, which squares are dangerous. But if you just, if you suspect it might have a trap on it, you can tell me that you want to jump the square. And so we'll roll a die, and if it's if it's a skull, you land on the square, and you got to take the consequences. But if it's anything else, you jump over it, and you don't have to worry. Of course, you still don't know if it was a trap unless you actually land on it. So, you tell. Okay. So let's say he's got eleven. So he moves one, two, opening the door, kicking it open, bashing it open with his axe handle. Jump over the square in front of the door and bash it down. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. Just as an example. Well, I know there's a 10 second delay. So, here's the thing. Sometimes Hero Quest does this to people. I'm not saying that it's the case in this case, but sometimes, for example, they'll put a trap on the other side of the door. And since you're not in the room, you can't search for it. So you just walk in and just blunder into it. Wisely, the designers of this quest pack actually said that we're going to allow people to just blindly jump and say, okay, I'm going to jump that square in case it's dangerous. But now, let's say they jump forward, there could be another trap there. Or they could jump to the side and there might be a trap there or there, in which case you're out of luck. But on the off chance that there might be a trap there, you could jump over. But you still got to roll one die. It's a 50% chance. So it's a precaution wisely well the thing is psk um you may have thought you were coming up with a brand new idea but i mean i've looked through the notes of the uh the writers of these quests thanks to luka pashi by the way and they talked about a lot of different things it's like oh we should implement this but then in the final version it just wasn't there it was left on the cutting room floor so the fact that you read their mind <laughs> is perfect yeah i know i know but see like, I want to see what the designers intended first. And then after that, I'll decide what I want to do. But I like the fact that they thought of it. I hate the fact that they didn't put it in there. Because I think it's a good rule. I think you're like, ah, oh, man, I just got a feeling this might be a trap. I'm going to try to jump over it. <laughs> just like the Yeti thing. I mean, they said that the Yeti grabs you and you just can't do anything about it. You're just dead. Like, that's stupid. I, I don't like that. But some of the designers were like, oh, you should be able to roll some dice. And it's like, come on, that makes much more sense. And then I thought, well, how much better would it be if you could do like a wrestling move if you get a really good roll? So, yeah, Jace or J, I'm with you on that. But the problem is this quest book, as cool as it is, as much potential is in there, is broken. Like, they made a lot of really bad blunders. And by going back into the drafts, I can see, well, some earlier ideas were better. And so I've drawn those out, but they didn't fix everything. I mean, there's still some things that were broken that I kind of fixed. I mean, it's plenty hard. Believe me, it's very hard. And this is the first time we've played this quest with anybody. But I mean, I've I've looked it over. It is not going to be easy. So if you feel like I'm giving you extra chances, I'm really not. 
<laughs> because yeah it's it's still gonna be plenty challenging all right finish my move then attack all right okay so he's gonna go into the room um, so far you don't see anything you do, except a door Got to adjust the camera here slightly. I wonder if Bob Marston used this same name when he went into... Uh... Discord, because I see a lot of people. I see a lot of new people. Yeah. Basically, when you join, say something so that uh, we know who you are. <laughs> if you're going to play, of course. All right. So he uh, he looks in. He sees a door on the other side. And what else does he see? Oh, yeah. He sees another door. So there's actually two doors. Very close to one another in that cold icy room. I mean, it's not an icy room, but I mean it's it's cold like the rest of the quest. So he's going to use the rest of his movement to attack. Well, he steps into the room. There's no monsters. So nothing to attack. Roll for his jump. Ah, okay. So here's the question, J Sir J, should he which door should he head head towards? This one here? Uh, or the one, what am I trying to say? Should he head to the eastern door or the southern door? Eastern door, southern door. Yeah, we'll definitely roll for his jump. I mean, he can jump all the way there for all I care, right? Like a one, two, three, or one, two, three, four. East. Okay. So he's going to go this way, and he's going to roll... To see if he jumps over the square. Alright. So he's jumping the first square. Let's see what he gets. 50% chance. If it's a skull, he's got to land on the square and take the consequences. Whatever they might be. If. Okay. So he jumps over the square. Okay. And let's see. That square is safe. Alright. Is he going to... If he's going towards that door, well, I mean, he's going to have to take take it unless he jumps is he gonna jump into the room too Jace or Jay what do you think or anybody else in the chat should he jump his way like through the doorway <laughs> like I guess he would just like kind of use his shoulder as a battering ram to kind of like blast his way through the door because there's a square here so it'd be like ugh, like that all right I can roll for his jump because yeah you can jump as much as you want on your turn I mean, because for all you know, there's traps everywhere. And there are. <laughs> oh, a skull. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's crazy. He might. See? Crazy like a fox. No judgment against foxes. All right. So... Hey, Kirk. Hey, Kirk. I'm offended. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's offended. Hey, is this uh, this is the new guy, right? Welcome. Hi. All right. Just call me Bob. Bob. Uh, Welcome. Where are you guys at? Okay, uh, let me just ask the chat. Can you guys hear Bob? Okay, so um, are you on a phone? Yeah, I'm on a phone. Okay, you're coming through clearly. So, yeah, welcome to HeroQuest fans. You can refer to me as Zargon, Kurgan, or HeroQuest fans is fine too. Welcome. Glad you could join us. And actually, it would be on Twitch. So the chat is on Twitch. So are you able to use Discord and Twitch at the same time? Or yeah, not. I'm pulling. I'm seeing if I can. Let me just pull this up here. Cool, man. Hero Quest. It's Hero Quest fans, right? Yep. Got six viewers. Somebody left. Did you kick them? <laughs> no, I, I have had a lot of bots that I've had to ban. Oh, I got an ad. Progressive. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to call it out because we're going to get different ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. So welcome to Striker Six Six Seven. Welcome to Rogue rogue girl um yeah we've got commander root we've got elverg we've got psk studio aka knucklehead and jacer j of course 
So yeah, um, I don't know if you heard the conversation before, but we have two heroes so far. They're going through the Glacial Gate, the Frozen Horror. They're looking for the Wooden Door to enter the deeper recesses of the mountain, of Ice Mountain. And so the two knights are... Now are you... Uh... Are people, are certain people controlling the heroes? Are you controlling them, or what's going on? Well, they're telling me what they want the heroes to do, and I'm moving the heroes. So, yeah, Knucklehead, he's he's uh, entertaining some friends, so he's kind of going back and forth. Um, but, yeah, we're controlling his guy. He's basically looting and uh, fighting. <laughs> and then the other guy, Jacer J, uh, we haven't played with him before, but he's a longtime viewer. He's also controlling a knight. And so he, Blue Star of the Knight... And so he's in the, the later room. But if you want to join us, um, you could either be the Barbarian. We've already got a Barbarian started. If you'd rather be an Alchemist or a Dwarf or an Elf, I mean, you tell you tell me what you'd like to, like to do. Do you have your own dice or do you want me to roll for you, by the way? Uh, yeah, just go ahead and roll for me. Uh, yeah, I could, I'd, I'll be an alchemist if you can throw me in there. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Okay, guys, I just apologize. I got to grab an extra miniature here. See, this is this is awesome because we've got three heroes and Strange Bus, um, who's some known as, as Josh from his channel. He's pl still planning to join us. So potentially we could have four, which is what we're supposed to have for this quest. All right. So if you can see the screen, there is a 10 second delay. I apologize for that. That's just kind of the nature of it. So there is the uh, alchemist. Um, he starts from the iron door. And as far as which powers or skills that you want, uh, we've got the familiar. So guys, this is a mod basically. Um, we've got pyro, which is like your fire. We've got tarot, which is like your earth. We've got arrow, which is like your air, of course. And then we've got hydro, which is your water. Don't you usually... I, I know that you're, uh, you're a long-time HeroQuest player, as long as I've played as well. So don't you usually go with uh, like these three and leave the earth behind? Since we don't have an elf, it's kind of like you can choose whatever you want. I'm gonna get. I get choose three of them, right? Yep. So with the fire, you've got the two attacks. Air, you've got one attack. Water is a healing. Earth is a healing. So I, I, uh, how many cards? All nine cards total, or six cards total? Nine, three, six, nine. Yeah, I'll take every. I'll take everything except for Earth. Okay. I kind of figured, but I I wanted to mention it. Yeah. So. Uh, well kept secret um i actually have played with him before so but uh yeah nice to have you back been a long time all right cool thanks yeah okay so uh you've got all these abilities so basically on your turn you're gonna have to tell me if you're using one of your alchemist skills that counts as an action of course and uh yeah <laughs> it's fun because i'm managing all this stuff now psk's idea is that eventually we're gonna have some type of like automated system where people can kind of lock in their their movement their uh, turn so i won't have to do this but we'll see how this goes all right anyone here repeat um okay so you shouldn't be here no one should be hearing an echo you may have to turn your sound down so that you're just hearing one um okay so all right so we'll go ahead and allow the uh oh yeah um bob What's your character's name? You're going to give him a name, uh, or should I just call him Bob? Just call him Bob the Alchemist. Bob the Alchemist. All right. And since this basically is just a mod of the wizard, I mean, he has one attack, two defense. Of course, he has a, a dagger. Uh, four body, six mind. And, of course, his nine abilities. All right. So we're going to roll for your movement here. Seven. All right. 
So just so you know, uh, those corridors have not been searched for traps. These guys, they're all about the treasure and the danger, so they have not really searched for anything. So you, whoops, I got to adjust the camera here so I can actually see you. Okay, so you've stepped into the iron door here. And so down this corridor, you see nothing special. It hasn't been revealed yet. Down this way to the east, you do see an open door. And of course you see, you hear the sounds of your two comrades. So they ran, they ran ahead of you up the mountain pass and they were in there, they were fighting, they were finding treasure. And you're just like, come on guys, like I'm trudging through the snow. I mean, come on, I got all my materials in my uh, knapsack. I got all my bottles and my scrolls, my, you know, tools. And it's like, oh, come on. It's like, you, you're going to yeah, need just, me. <laughs> just chase them. Just chase them. Uh, just go ahead and enter the same direction that they okay. were and run the front, the, the front hero. Okay. One, two, three, four. You step into the room. Okay, now, as you know, each room can be searched. Uh, just to re refresh your memory, traps, treasure, secret doors. Um, it's only been searched for treasure by the other two heroes. So if you want to search it, you can. It's up to you. Or you can keep on. No echo? That's good. Important message on Discord DM. Oh, thank you, PSK. I appreciate that. Yeah, if you if you guys want to tell me something and have me keep it private, I mean, I'm not going to reveal it. I'm, I'm not trying to embarrass anybody. Oh, okay. All right. This is fine. We got a good group. It's all good. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, PSK, I thank you for relaying that message. All right. I know we're not talking about secret teams, but it, it's going to be good. Okay. All right. So you're in the room. Um, Bob, the alchemist, what what do you do? Uh, You've got two more movement left. Uh, go ahead and search. Oh, uh, go, th go through the door. Well, you go can, through the open door. You can walk right up to the door. That's all the movement you have. Oh, man. Uh, search for secret doors. Secret doors. Okay. Oh, good. Now I get to use the sound alert. You, please tell me if you can hear this sound effect. I hope it's not too annoying. I, usually I just make it with my, my, with my voice. It's going to play. Did you hear anything? Maybe you didn't. Yeah, I heard it. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, there's a 10 second delay. Okay, I hear it. All right. So, yes, there is a secret door. See, everybody's got their own playing style. So, we've had these treasure and fight guys for a few quests, and now we've got the searching guy. Okay, so there is a secret door in the corner of the room. You don't have enough movement to reach it yet, but it is there. Okay, my turn. There's no monsters. Back to Knucklehead. So, knowing what he knows... Um, oh yeah, I'm sorry. We should have revealed this. Because he was jumping into the room, remember? He actually jumped into this room. I just got a little bit distracted because we got a new player, so... Let me just make sure that's showing up. Okay, so Knucklehead the Knight has gone into the room. And he will see everything that doesn't require a search, of course. And he sees a closed door to the south. In the corner here. Closed door to the south in that greenish-blue room. Now, there is something else in the room that I've got to reveal... And it is, so I had, to, I had to cut out a bunch of new tiles today. I didn't quite have them all done, but they should be good to go now, more or less. Good enough for the cameras, anyway. Oh boy. OK. 
cut it out. Where is it? I apologize, folks. Let me just uh, dig through my materials here. I know it doesn't have to be there, but I like it because it's uh, good background material. Okay, well, since we can't find it, I'm just going to go ahead and substitute an equally, equally awesome effect. So there is an icy river in this room, actually. Uh, there's a flow of ice that... Icy, icy cold water that covers those three squares. Let's just adjust the light. It's a little, little garish there. Okay. So you should be able to see that in about 10 seconds. So the icy river... It actually covers the room. And let me see uh, the stats on the icy river. So each square of the underground stream counts as two squares for movement purposes. Uh, once you enter the river, it, you have to roll one combat die. You lose one body point of damage from the cold if you get a white shield. It doesn't say you can jump over it. So, all right, that'll be uh, just a future hazard to keep in mind. So. Let me just check his potions again. Knucklehead has a, a plus four healing if he needs it. He's at six body points. Oh yeah. Um, sorry, Elverg. Uh, what's the difference between an alchemist and a wizard? Just the name? Yeah, pretty much, uh, Elverg. Um, oh, darn, I forgot. I totally forgot. I'm, I'm glad you said that. Because in the past, when we played the Alchemist, we always gave him two potions. My bad. Yeah, but otherwise, he's pretty much the same as the Wizard. It's just like a reskin. Um, so, one potion. Okay, it's fire resistance. Another one. Restoration. That's one body, one mind. Okay. All right. So, he does have two extra potions that he can use at any time. So, so fire resistance is like red mithril, um, and then, so if there's a chaos alchemist in the quest, then he can dodge that. But potion of restoration is plus one body, plus one mind. All right. Okay. So. Uh, what do you think? He's in the room. What 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 do you guys think he would do? He would probably search for treasure, right? That's kind of what I think he would do. If anybody objects, oh, PSK's got to go. But yeah, good question, Elberg. So I really I really had fun creating the alchemist. Um, on yield in on the forums. So if you look up a, a thread called Demagicified, I actually came up with. Um, a bunch of cool stuff in there and that's where I posted the alchemist information it's not on the yield in site it's on the yield in forum okay so knucklehead searching for treasure and oh a hazard wow <laughs> and he can always say well I didn't draw it I you drew for me but that's how it goes suddenly a stone beneath your feet gives way you fall into a shallow hole losing one body point and ending your turn now to be fair he did jump to that square so it's not as if you know I'm doing anything untoward here so unfortunately he does take one body point of damage He's down to five ends his turn all right jacer j treasure okay well first you got to move into the other room so you have a choice do you want to go to the south into the um secret door room or do you want to go east into this room to search which one? Oh, the gorillas. Poor gorillas. Okay. All right, Jacer J, do you want to go south or east? I 
This is awesome. <laughs> I mean, we've done we've done uh, three hero quests before, but uh, first time we've had a, an alchemist with us. South. Okay. All right. So uh, movement. You got a seven. So let's see. I presume you're not too particular about what uh, path he takes. One, two, three. Okay, so you're opening the door, and the way the secret door works is we don't even remove the tile. It's just it's just like an open door at this point, though. So you open the door, and now we've got to reveal everything that you can see. So first, we're going to go ahead and put down the tomb. So you see a tomb in the corner there. You also see three very powerful... I, I'm not joking when I say that. I can't emphasize enough. Three very powerful monsters. You see um, a polar war bear right there. You also see a yeti. Oh, no! <laughs> he knows. He knows. You see a yeti. And, because I didn't bring out enough miniatures. Excuse me. Let me grab another yeti. And uh, meanwhile, I'll show you the cards for these these guys. These are some of the strongest monsters you face in this pack. So I'm I'm not kidding. When they they stacked the deck against the heroes, they really did. Ah, uh, and it's the light is glaring off of them. Sorry. All right, yeah, the uh, the polar war bear can do a two attacks. I'm coming back to the fight then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear that. So I just got to grab. Uh, I mean, there's two options: either you run, either run away or fight them. I mean, there's they're yeah. they'll kill us all. Well, they they definitely will kill you all. And the other thing about it is, if you just run from door to door, you could be activating more and more monsters. And then what will you do? So I'll be right back. I just got to grab my. Monster Miniature. One moment. guys ever fought a a polar bear before all right we're back welcome once again to hero quest fans welcome everybody i'm just having a blast i didn't know it would be this exciting but we got psk studio aka knucklehead playing a knight we've got um jacer j22 playing as blue star the the knight so two guardian knights and we've got a newcomer bob the alchemist and now they've just discovered a room full of monsters because there is a to the south in the glacial gate there is uh two yetis and a polar war bear and i'm not kidding these this this might as well be a boss fight right here so if this has to be a two-parter, so be it. But, um, okay, so the alchemist is going to go back for it. But but first, Jacer J is in charge. Jacer J says, shoot the Yeti. Now, that's true. You do have a crossbow, and you do have range. So do you want to shoot the, the one that's closest? Because as you can see... Um, these, these monsters have plenty of movement. So the Polar War Bear has 6 movement. The Yeti has 8 movement. The Polar War Bear is more dangerous, though, because he has 2 attacks. So he could do 4 and 4 for 2 different heroes, or he could attack the same guy twice, which is a lot. 3 defend dice. Polar War Bear has 6 body points. The Yeti has 5. So <laughs> you're, you're facing uh, 16 body points worth of monsters. South Yeti. Okay. Because the Yeti can get you in the hole. 
which is really deadly as well. Okay, so Jacer J is shooting the Yeti. Now he's used up the poison that he had, so it's just a regular crossbow bolt. Alright. I don't know if you guys will survive, but... Let's see. Okay, what am I doing here? Alright, sorry. I was getting too excited. Alright. Rolling his combat dice. Alright, two skulls. Not bad. Let's just increase that brightness. I had to turn the lights down a little bit. There. That's not too bad. Okay, so two skulls. So uh, the Yeti defends with three. So he's, you know, his defense isn't that, isn't that big. But he does have a lot of body points. Um, no defense. Wow. Okay, so no defense. So we take two hits. And unfortunately, it wasn't one yeah. hitting him, one hitting the floor. But All right, Bob, I think you'll appreciate this. So we put the skulls underneath him to uh, indicate the damage. Just for good measure. <laughs> Should have dipped all my... You know, Jace or Jay, see, that's the thing. So we have this thing called Uncommon Feats. And uh, people in the chas chat can suggest it. People uh, in the game can suggest it. If you can give me a plausible action, like a heroic feat the guy could do, I'll roll one combat die. If it's a skull, we'll let you do it. Within reason, of course. So if there's a 50% chance of success. So yeah, earlier we drew poison when we were trying to get one of the potions, and it, it was like, poison? Why would you ever use that? PSK thought, hey, you could just dip your weapon in it. So we ended up, uh, earlier, the crossbow like did one extra body point of damage because of the poison. Of course, he could have missed, and then it would have been wasted. But yeah, so you turn a bad situation into good. Okay, so you damage the Yeti. So next is Bob, the alchemist. So it's all you, buddy. If you think you can uh, lay some hurt down on these monsters. Movement. All right. All right, so you got a four. Is that it? I want to do my uncommon feat. Hold on. One, two, three. F oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Okay, so what's your uncommon feat? Okay, movie? yeah, I want to do my... I want to, like, uh, you know, drink my uh, alchemist brew of speed that I just concocted. So so I can, like, double my... my uh, to, like, get a re-roll on that. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Let's see if you do it. Good idea. So he whips up some stuff. Oh, it works. Wow. So he, he MacGyvered uh, a movement potion. And you want to re-roll your movement. Yeah, that was terrible. Eight. Or, I'm sorry, nine. <laughs> Can't even count tonight. Sorry. Nine. nine. Okay. Woo. Okay. So now, are you going to rush into the room? Yeah, rush into the room. Uh, I want to target the polar Two, three, war bear if I can. Four, five, six. Okay, well, yeah, you can target him. Now, you're a little bit boxed in, so I'll just caution you there. If those monsters move in, I guess you might... I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to fight. You know, you know the you know the drill. So, all right. So... I'm in the, I'm in the left corner. Yeah, you're in the upper left corner of the room. Do I, have a, do I have another movement left, or do I have no movement left? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, you have more movement. I mean, you could either go, get right up in the one Yeti's face, or you could get in yeah, the other move. Yeti's face. But yeah, you yeah, don't get move move out of the way so I'm not blocking the entrance. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, do you want to move towards the southern yeti or the eastern yeti? Oh, because I'm just am I I'm diagonal from the polar bear, a polar war bear, aren't I? Yeah. See, the thing is, I wanted to go for the polar war bear anyway. Yeah. Go. Yeah. But you're yeah, not go trying for, to yeah, go for east. Okay. All right. So you're right, right between those two monsters. Very precarious position. Yep. 
But now... Yep, I'll probably get killed if you guys don't rush in. <laughs> now someone in the... Oh yeah, uh, sorry Bob. I just want to let you know, people in the chat can buy stuff for you, but you don't buy it for yourself. I'm, I apologize, I didn't explain that rule. But um, Oh, whoops. That's okay, but that's okay. Um, now the uncommon feat though, you don't have to buy that. You can just tell me. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So what? Uh, let me explain. I apologize. No, it's a good, good question. So people in the chat, if you want to affect the outcome of the game, you can buy a potion for a hero, which means I'll just draw a random card for them, and I'll try to get them something that they need. Uh, but we'll see. Um, if you want to help Zargon out, you can buy a monster. So I can just add a monster. Now, if you want to suggest an uncommon feat, we'll do it. But, I mean, a player can su suggest on his own, I want to try it. Because it's always a 50% chance. So, yeah. show me my cards. I want to see my cards. Yeah. Hold up my cards. To my Hold them up for about 10 seconds each so I can see what I have. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I'm going to, put a, I'm going to target, target the uh, Polar War Bear. So show me my fire cards first. Maybe you guys can tell me what you guys think I should do on them. Yeah. And if you guys don't remember, I mean, you can always just say that the name of the hero quest, the default one. Whoops. I got to zoom in. Oh, you can't see that at all. Yeah, so here's where PSK's idea would be really nice if we could. Uh... Uh, you got to get close to the screen. I can't see him very well. My bad. I'm on I'm on a phone, not on a big screen. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. My sorry. Bad. All right. So you got the Berserker Brew, which would allow you two extra combat dice as long as you can see monsters. Sound familiar? So just like Courage. Uh, there's the Fire Lance, which is one body point of damage unless they can roll a five or a six. You got the Greek Fire, which is two body points of damage unless they can roll a five or six on two dice. Okay, so Jacer J is saying Sleep, Tempest, Ball, Flame, or Genie. Okay, so he is recommending essentially Greek Fire. Uh, the Genie equivalent in this in the Alchemist's arsenal would be the Chinese Rocket. That's how five combat. Greek fire? How, many, how, many, how much is Greek Fire? Greek Fire is two, two uh, damage unless they can roll a five or a six on two dice. So they could take zero damage or they could take two. Chinese rocket is going to be five. Points is not like ten. Uh, the polar werebear has six. So you can wow. either try for two damage, or you could try with the Chinese rocket would be five combat dice. But he would defend normally, so he would defend with. What did I say? Pull out the card. Uh, what's my equivalent to sleep? Three. He only defends with three. Oh, um, that would be the air. Yeah, and the Gossamer Net is Tempest. That would force him to lose a turn. Or... Can't you... defend against the Gossamer Net? No, it just wears off on the next turn. Um, let's see. The Paralyzing Dart is the equivalent of Sleep. So that means for each of his mind points, he has to roll a six. So he would have... Can he, he defend only... himself when he's asleep or not? No, no. Now he only... That's a good point, actually, because sleep is a great spell, just like the Paralyzing Dart is a great skill. So he only has two mind points. So he has two chances right, to roll I should do the, the dart and put him to sleep? And so you guys can try to kill him? Yeah, because you'll have to the other guys? wail on him. Or do you think I should do the uh, net and just One, make him lose a turn? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, because... I feel like because you've got so many body points. PSK might have... I feel like I should with, go with yeah. the sleep, which is the uh, dart or the... the uh, Net, which is the tempest. Well, what would you guys go for? Yeah, and I mean, we can do the prices right, or you can just make a decision. Um, either way, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm uh, <laughs> like, what's gonna happen? <laughs> what's he gonna do? So you're thinking either the gossamer net, so force the monster to lose a turn, or the paralyzing dart, put him to sleep. And then everybody else. Yeah, let's just go him. with the net, so we don't we can't defend against it. Just hit him with the net, okay. so he doesn't attack me twice and just kill me. So you guys will have to somehow come in here and, you okay. know, fight these guys. I guess. Jeez. Okay, so you uh, you pull a little device out of your out of your cloak and you just well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, maybe not. Wait, hold on, hold on. If I put him in a net, there's only enough space for the guy to run in. He won't have a chance to kill him. He'll just lose a turn. There's only two spaces left. There's two more heroes. Oh. So I'm kind of blocking the way. So you think? So well, wouldn't I have to do the, the? Wouldn't I need to do the the uh, dart guys? Because 
Because I just do the. If I just do the net, he's going to miss the turn, but the guy's going to run in and what? Kill the Yeti? And I guess I'll have another turn before he wakes up, though, right? Yeah. So J Sir J is thinking the lose a turn card, but you're thinking maybe strategically this would be better? I'm not going to tell you what well, to do. <laughs> well, I get another, I'll get another turn before he wakes up, though, right? So I'll, Let's to, see. I'll just have to deal with the Yeti attacking me. Well, after your turn comes the monster turn. That's That's the problem. We're well, gonna miss that turn. Yeah. So the two the Yetis would have a chance to come at you. Okay, I'll just do the yeah, I'll do the net. Fine. I'll just do the net. On, on the, the polar war bear. Okay. Yep, net on the war bear, that's fine. Nice. Hopefully okay. the other guys will have good rolls. So you got this big hulking, like furry monstrosity with his big huge spiked club and his arm and he's like Rah! you know, he's just frosty, you know, uh foam coming out of his mouth you know steam and you whip this little device out and you point it at him he's like mm -hmm. and you shoot all this webbing and he's just like Wah! just like spider-man so he just completely he can't even move all right okay so that's what you do all right and uh let's see anybody else want to do anything okay I think PSK is doing something, so that's all right. Okay, so it's the monster's turn. So, uh, and what about the other heroes? Well, so it was boom, boom, boom. So um, PSK was in the room with the with the ice flow. He didn't go anywhere. He just searched for treasure. Oh man! Uh, the crossbow shot from uh, Jacer J wounded, but didn't kill the Yeti. So he's taken two hits of damage. He's got only, it. Okay. He's got He's got three left, and the polar war bear is webbed up, and then this other um, yeti is right there. Okay, yeah, no, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to roll defense. Whoops. <laughs> He's got two mind points. So he rolled a three. He failed. So he tried to struggle out of it. He failed. He tried again. He rolled a five. He failed. So he's 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 just like completely enveloped. Yeah, Spider-Man. What a great comic. Okay. Um, all right. So, Monster's Turn. Now, anybody in the chat, if you want to buy a potion for a hero, just use your channel points, use your gold coins. Uh, those are free. That's not real money. So, if you want to, you can. If you're on my side, though, and you want to buy <laughs> another monster, hey, you know, Zargon will take it. Uh, okay. So, all right. So, the first Yeti, he's, like, just shocked at that bravery. So he's going to go ahead and uh, attack. And let's see. The, he attacks with three. Stuck in the net. Oh, yeah. Um, Alchemist. I, I, I don't want to forget about the potions. Because I'm happy to remind you guys that you have them. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, you don't really... Bob, you don't really have any potions that are going to help you unless you get damaged, of course. Um, just gotta cross that off because that was used. So, oh wait a minute, no, I got confused. So I didn't need to roll for the guy's mind points because he did the gossamer net. My bad. Yeah, I, I was thinking we were going back with the the sleep thing. Okay. Anyway, the uh, the eastern yeti is attacking. Uh, one skull. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and roll for you, Bob. You have you just your base defense of two. One shield. One white shield. Hope your speakers weren't turned up to the maximum. All right. Okay, so the other Yeti is gonna move forward. One, two. And he, since that Yeti is mad at the knight that shot him with the crossbow bolt, you know, he's still got those bolts sticking out of him. He's going to go ahead and attack the knight. And he attacks with three. And two skulls against the knight. Now, uh, Jacer J, you're uh, doing okay because you've got five defense dice. Because you've got your shield, your plate armor, 
as well as your base defense. So, but you got to beat two two skulls. Uh, you blocked one. Uh oh. Blocked one. But unfortunately, you also took a hit of damage. <laughs> yeah, you know, eventually it would be really cool. I mean, in the past, I just, you know, make the moves myself. It's, like, <laughs> it's great. Okay, so. There you go. Here's the thing. Since uh, since uh, Jacer J has taken one hit of damage, his first first blood, he's down to six. But since this is a Yeti, the Yeti does his hug attack, his infamous hug attack, and grabs him in a in a brutal hold. You know, if uh, if this were wrestling, you know, the the announcer would be just, oh, I can't believe it! Oh, he's crushing the life out of him. You know, it's like no. Um, while the Yeti is holding him, neither one of you can move. Now, the Yeti is, can still defend, but he defends with one less if somebody else attacks him. So, the Alchemist could swipe him back, um, but there is a defense. So, I did implement this change. So, you roll three combat dice, J or J, and we're going to go ahead and roll. And so, if you get one white shield, you negate the damage, because you're going to get one body point of damage per turn, unless you can negate the damage. Two white shields means you break the hold. Three white shields, I'll tell you, if you get three white shields, you can reverse it. Two white shields, wow. Okay, so I don't have a like slip out of the move. Um, so that was, <laughs> that was a close one. Okay, so he got out of it, Hooah! escaped. All right. Um, Okay, so the monster's turn is over. So now it is PSK. So, I think PSK would go and help his comrades, don't you? Because it's either that or he's going yeah, go to so. the, go through the icy river. I mean, there's no there's no profit in that, right? He likes to fight, and he likes treasure. There's no more treasure. He's going to go for the fight. He's going to ride the hype train all the way. Look at that. See, even when he's not playing, like, I get... Get good rolls. Boxcars, PSK. Boxcars, my friend. So you're going to run to the fight. But the problem is, how are you going to get in there? It's so crowded in that room. One. Two. Oh, yeah, you're jumping. Because you're always jumping over stuff. So he's going to try to jump over that square. Hopped over it. I wonder if there was a trap there. I guess we'll never know. Three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine. Okay, but the problem is the door is blocked, so there isn't much he can do because he doesn't have a diagonal weapon. He's just got a battle axe, and he's got a potion of healing. Let's see what he can do with his knight skills. So he's got stalwart, which would bring him back from the brink of death with one. Got the Knight's Challenge, that only works for Wandering Monsters. And he's got the Shield Block. Ah! Here is where the Knight can really shine. Because the Shield Block, I'm just saying, since PSK is now next to uh, Jacer J, if Jacer J take, it takes a hit, um, PSK can just block it with his with his shield one time oh wait i forgot he doesn't have it oh he can't do it but guess what he does have something better he's got the rallying cry that's right because he got rid of his shield yep he got rid of his shield and instead he got a couple of combat cards so he's got the rallying cry and if he uses this then from now until the end of the turn, each hero may roll one extra attack and one extra defense. So what do you think? Do you think he would use it? <laughs> I asked. I think so, because I'm surrounded. I mean, there's still baiting the audience. 
hey, those guys that if there was could a time me and kill me right now. If there was a time to use it, now it now would be the time. And really, I feel like PSK would use it because he's all about the hype. He's all about the support. He's all about getting the hype train going. He's got the microphones. Um, he's always spamming that in chat, and I believe he would do it. So let's uh, let's take another quick look here. He would yell at him. Yeah, he he would start freestyling. I I believe it. But he would do it like more in a more barbarian hero kind of way. Because even though he's a knight. He's, he's pretty rough around the edges. He, uh, I think he has a lot in common with the, the barbarians. So if he does the rallying cry, he's like, Aah! he's got, you know, everything he would do. Everybody's like, whoa, wow. <laughs> it inspires your comrades to victory. So, so he does that. He can't make an attack himself, but, um, Jace or Jay, you've got a broadsword. So now if you attack, you're going to attack with four. So, Jacer J, it's your turn. What do you think? Now, you don't have to be in his face. You could actually move back one square, try to draw the monster into the room, or you could just stand right there, but just keep in mind that the alchemist is hemmed in. So, what do you think? Jacer J, do you want to use your broadsword, or do you want to back up and use your crossbow? Because you still have your shield, so you could use the shield block to protect PSK. And you've got Stalwart to save yourself if you were to get in dire circumstances. Because you've still got your shield. Attack. Oh, attack and then move back. I get it. I get it. Okay. So you attack with four because you're rallied. I guess when I give you guys tips, I'm like mentor, you know, reminding you. You hear mentor in your in your memory, like saying, "Hey, when you're in this situation, do this," you know. <laughs> and when I'm not, I'm Zargon going, "Ah, get him!" <laughs> so see, it still works in a role playing level. Okay, two skulls against the Yeti. All right. So the Yeti is gonna roll his three defense. Cockeyed. So we're gonna re-roll that one. Oh, two black shields. Sorry, you got to see that on camera. Okay, so unfortunately for you, he completely blocked that. But you did say move back, so we're going to move backwards. Ten. Okay, now... How far back do you want to go? Just like one square, two squares, three squares? What are you going to do? Because if you move straight back into the wall, that's two squares back. But you just rolled a, a ten. That Yeti is deaf. Yeah, sorry guys. The sound effects are a little loud. So if you want to turn your... Because, I mean, you're straining to hear that beautiful music. And then you're... The sound effect. I mean, at least I didn't play the John Cena one. Okay, one one step back. Fair enough. Okay, so you move back, one step back into the room. Now, the other thing is, if a hero dies in a room and there's no other heroes with him, he could lose all his treasure to monsters, is the other thing. Okay. All right. Bob the Alchemist. So, you're kind of trapped in the room. Now, you do have a way to escape. You could use your Flask of Fog to pass through that monster out into the room. But, I mean, that's just one option. If you want to attack instead, just keep in mind that you're going to be dealing with all three monsters now. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, because I only have five, four body points, right? That's right. Yeah, I'm going to, show me the card again, the fog of what? Uh, Flask of Fog. I Flask know. of Fog? Yeah. A small device out of your, uh, out of your robes. It's a little pot or something i don't know it kind of looks like a hand grenade and you throw it and suddenly like like a ninja you just a smoke bomb everywhere and you sneak past you slip past the uh the yeti one two you three, turn it into four. a holy hand grenade i get it well the holy hand grenade would probably you know blow these guys sky high but yeah <laughs> this is true 
Yeah. This is more yeah, just, just like put a me diagonally smoke, be- smoke bomb. Put me diagonal between the two other heroes. Yep. So I just did that. Um, I know there's a delay there. Okay. So all three heroes are now in the room. The monsters are just bewildered with all the smoke. Now the polar wear bear can kind of still smell you, but uh, he, he knows that he, he's lost his opportunity. Okay. My turn. All right. Um... So, uh, the monsters, the monsters are free now. So the first Yeti, he's going to take the bait because he's, he's still angry from the last time and he's just going to charge into the room Arr! and he falls, falls right over. I'm just picking back up again. He, he charges into the room and again, one track mind, he's going to go right for, uh, right for Jace or Jay. <laughs> Somebody clip this. Yeah. See, we need, we, Here's the thing. I do want to put together a trailer for the channel because we've had so many good game moments. Like, I feel we... Instead of me just creating one with, like, fake moments, which, you know, would be fun too. Like, getting actual, genuine, you know, emotional reactions as we play. Like, oh, man. You know, playing that card, flipping that uh, dice. So, yeah. Feel free. If you're on Twitch, go ahead and uh, grab me some good clips. And we can always feature those. Um, thank the person who, who chose them. All right. Okay, so the monster charges in is going to go right for a Jacer J. And he completely missed. Completely missed. But I do have kind of a, a little fun thing I like to do when three white shields are rolled. Actually, no, it wouldn't be. Never mind. Never mind. I got to follow my own preset rules. Okay. All right, so the monster runs into the room, completely takes a swing, but he's still he's, he's his eyes are still stinging from that uh, from that smoke, and he just completely misses. Jacer J kind of laughs and like <laughs> goes back. Uncommon feat counterattack. Hey, I like how you think. All right, let's go ahead and roll that die, and if it's a skull, you get it. It's a skull, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so you do a counterattack. Yeah. This is going to be an unblockable right. unblockable attack. So let's see what it would be. So he's using a broadsword. So that's three. Oh yeah, and the rallying effect is has worn off now. Just so you know. Because that was just for one round. So Jacer J makes a, a counter swipe. One skull. Boom! Takes the hit. And the monster is so dazed he can't even he can't even try to defend it. All right, so that's three. So he's now down to two body points left. I know it's a tough monster. <laughs> okay, um, my other monsters are going to... Let's see, the the Polar War Bear is just going to move one to the side. The other Yeti is going to just queue up behind. So we've got three monsters in a row. I know it looks like Cookie Monster, Cookie Monster, and, and a Polar War Bear. <laughs> okay. So, uh, all right, so we're back to uh, PSK, and I think this is right where he likes to be, because he likes to be in the thick of the action. And he, of course, has a battle axe, so Knucklehead is going to go ahead and just take a swing at the Yeti, the wounded Yeti. I think he's hearing Mortal, the Mortal Kombat announcer in his head at this point. Take him out, Knucklehead. All right, two skulls. All right, so monster is going to roll defense, such as it is. Ooh, he blocked one. Okay, guys, turn down your speakers. <laughs> Clang, and uh, he did take uh, one hit of damage. Okay, so what is he up to here? That might might have been the finishing blow. Let's see. Three, four. Nope. He's still not dead yet. He's still got one left. So it wasn't a fatality. It, it might have been a, a friendship. Friendship? Again? All right. So that was PSK. So I don't know. Would he run from battle? Nah, he's in a good position. Okay, Jacer J. I keep fighting. Uh, sorry, what was that? No, he keep fighting, yeah. That's right. See? He's already made followers out of all you guys. 
no, and, and I and I appreciate his support. Oh, and I got some messages. I apologize. Let me just check quick. All right. Well, uh, PSK, if you've got to go, I've had a blast, man. Thanks for playing. It's really been fun. So you have a great night. If you can stick around, that's great. If not, I understand. We'll see you next time. All right, and L. Viler just sent me some cool new artwork, which I'm going to have to showcase later. I'm sorry. I really want to take the time to show it off. So uh, the designs that you see on your screen, the little cool borders and everything, that was designed by L. Viler. Um, I didn't even ask for it. He just uh, put it up there, and it was like, if you want to use this, you can. If you want me to make other stuff, let me know. I was like, sweet. So, yeah, he's making some other stuff. Okay, so Jacer J uh, 22 is like the kid in the commercial. Broadsword. I use my broadsword. You know, he puts the card on the table, <laughs> except he does it in a, you know, powerful manly voice. <laughs> Choose the broadsword. Okay, it's gonna attack. So he's attacking the yeti. Sorry, I was getting caught up in the moment here. All right. Oh, three white shields. Ooh. Now, normally, that would be a complete whiff. However, lately, I've been thinking, three white shields is pretty hard to roll. And I think that calls for a uh, wrestling move. Jacer J, I don't know if you've ever watched professional wrestling. <laughs> if you have... Is there a uh, pro wrestling move or attack that you uh, would like to try to use against that monster? If so, go ahead and type it in the chat. Your pick. Any era. Tombstone Pile Driver. <laughs> so, this monster, you know, he's blinded by, you know, his own blood and, and ice and stuff. It's, it's frozen. He's like, he's just kind of dizzy. The crowd's like, tombstone, tombstone. And then he, you grab him. Somehow you flip him around and you drive him down into the pavement head first. Bam. Oh, and I still need to. Oh, yeah. OK, I'm. Guys, I'm just going to quickly see if there's like a crowd noise effect because that would be awesome right now. Um, let's see. Oh, man. Because I've got sound alerts here, and thank you to sound alerts for their cool stuff. So let's see. WWE crowd. Nope. I'd have to record my own. Nah, that's not it. Well. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, the tombstone! Oh, I can't believe it! Ah! <laughs> That's what I was going for. There's the audience. Woo yeah. yeah. Bam. Okay, so you took him out. Because really, I mean, he was down to his last body point, and he rolled four white shields. So, JR is impressed. What, hey, what does is, what is Zangief do? What does Zangief oh, do from Street Fighter 2? What does he do? The spinning pile driver. See, because not uh, only... Spinning pile driver. There you it's go. It's like superhuman. Like, he leaps like 20 feet in the air and like spins all the way down and like spins them into the ground <laughs> and it still doesn't it does still doesn't destroy you because in street fighter you're just superhuman i guess all right so so the yeti has been slain dramatically and the crowd the crowd goes wild okay now uh it's bob the alchemist's turn so apparently you have a uh you have an empty square in front of you Um, can I, can I, can I use my card through heroes or do I, or do we, are we doing it with that? Or we don't have a, do you have to direct line of sight and heroes block my sight? Uh, you have, yeah, the latter. So if you're going to use uh, a, an alchemist skill now, you would want to use something that enhances one of your comrades. So you could empower, right? Say that again. Heroes block my sight, right? Correct. 
Oh man. Yeah, so you'd either um, have to move into danger or you could use something on PSK or J or J. If you guys want to show get... me my cards that uh, would be possible strengthening them. What do I got? Okay. Oh, Jason J says courage. Well, if we did that, that would be the Berserker Brew. Same, same, uh, same Berserker difference. Brew. Yeah. So that would give. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Um, but the question is, who are you going to use it on? Uh, whoever wants it. Jacer J, I mean, you've got the crossbow. But here's the thing, though. It's two extra. So Jacer J would have five ranged or five up close. If you did it on PSK, Jeez. he'd have six, but only uh, up close. So, like, he would have to move into the path and attack. I mean, it's kind of what he would want, but I don't know. What do you think? Jacer J, do you want to yeah, let's do that. Yep. take the honor? Or do you want it, PSK to have it? Well, I mean, you're the alchemist, so you, you decide if you want to. What do you want, Jacer J? Do you want it, or you want, should I give it to PSK? Because his attack would be stronger. Let me look at your health. So, so PSK has five body points left but he would have six attack um jacer j has six body points so just one difference and he would have five. Oh, he's saying give it to psk give it to him give it to psk right. well i think that's what psk would want let's so go when psk watches the the video on demand he's gonna see this you just broke up there what, what'd you say SK would have wanted. Yep, he would have wanted it. <laughs> I t he's, he's not dead yet. He's like, I've been there. Not dead yet. They couldn't kill me before, and they can't kill me now. All right, so he he charges forward. Oh, no, well, he will charge forward on his next turn. I'm sorry. Your action was to use it on him. What? See so you. Yeah, see so you, uh, you. Wait, wait, is it not? Oh. Yeah, it, it works right wait. away, but. Yes. Wait, we already missed his turn. Is, no, no, it, is no. it who is anybody after me? Is it monsters? It's it's monsters. So really what happened was you uh you took the berserker brew and you handed it to him, he chugged it down. I know one when we were playing it, tell me if you remember this, one person would just like you just like stab him in the butt with it. It's like what what is it? It's like a syringe, you're like ding <laughs> like huh? No, it's yeah, it, it. it would really be like you hand him this horns, like drink this, and he's like, look, 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 look. And he's like, Argh. all right, Sargon, like what are you gonna, super, what are you gonna do? Sand. Okay, monsters attack. All right, so the uh, the yeti is the new the fresh yeti is stepping in, seeing his uh, his uh, fellow yeti destroyed. Maybe it was his mate. I mean, you don't know. So he walks in and he the first he sees PSK and he's like. Argh. He, he senses that um, PSK is like the strongest warrior in the room. So he uh, he has a slight sense of honor. He just goes right for it. He's, you know, the, the aggression. So he attacks. Two skulls. Ooh. Okay. Now PSK has, uh, since he went for the lighter armor, he's only got three attack, uh, three defend dice. So he's going to defend with three. Let me just check his uh, stuff here. Well, he does He does have healing, but I mean, if he gets hugged, well, that's the thing. If he gets hugged, you guys can still wail on the monster and, and break him free. All right. Oh, he blocked one, but he was hit by the other. I'm just going to go back to my sounds. Sorry, one second. Where'd we go? Sorry, folks. Technical difficulties. You know what? I'm just gonna... Okay. Ching! <laughs> it's the old-fashioned way. Okay, so he, because he took one damage now, he is in the Yeti hold. Because that's an automatic thing. So he's down to four body points. But... Um, he does get a chance to try to get out of it, of course. So we're going to roll for him here. 
the PSK is just like, ah, struggling. Actually, you know, the fact that he's got the Berserker Brew, I think he should have four. I'm just going to give him four. Executive decision. All right. Oh, but he didn't roll anything. He didn't roll any white shields at all. So he's in the hole. So next turn, he'll lose one body point unless he can uh, break out. Hey, what's an executive decision? Uh, that's me just deciding. Like, you know, just under the circumstances, he, he should get get to do another one. Um, okay. Yeah, because it's the, the GM, hey, he gets to do what he wants. I mean, he shouldn't be unfair. He shouldn't be inconsistent. All right. Let's see. Um, in my opinion. Okay, so after P. Well, after the monster, so then the polar war bear is just going to move forward. Because. Ha! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Strange bus is here! Yes! Okay. Uh, we'll have to play AO time. Oh, oh, uh, Bob, are you leaving? Nope. Oh, I misunderstood. Okay, Elviler says, no worries, Saunder Discord. Okay. Yeah, Strange Bus, if, you, uh, if you're here, that's great. I mean, everything okay? We can always do this another time if you're, if you're busy. It's not good. Okay, well... He can he can take his time respond when he wants to. Um, yeah, originally we thought he was going to be here, but I mean it's okay. I, I know stuff stuff happens, so no harm no foul. Um, all right, we do have one slot open though. Hey Zargon, you missed the sound alert. You got to get the ha got him sound alert. Oh yeah. Okay, how do I get back to my alerts here? Oh, here we go. So, uh, the question is, did we get him? And the answer is... <laughs> Got him! Correct. Facts. As PSK would say. Facts. Okay, strange buses in and out. Hey, whatever you need, man, um, you just let us know. We can always catch you in the next one if, if it's good. But yeah, we've had we've had a blast so far. So yeah, and we had a lot of fun on the rant cast too last night. So go ahead and check out the Strange Bus on Twitch. Check him out on uh, well, YouTube as well. We're both affiliates now, so it takes 24 hours before we can put up re do the replays for YouTube. But it'll be on Twitch. Okay, so uh, let me just get back into the action. Okay, so the monsters all kind of queued up again. And uh, PSK, unfortunately, is in the Yeti hold. So now it is his turn. So he does have a chance to try to break out. So once again, since he is under the effects of the Berserker Brew, he's going to roll four dice. Let's see if he can get some white shields. Oh, he's traveling. Okay, strange bus is en route, so drive safe. He's a bus driver. You can trust him. Okay. All right, uh, one, one white shield. So he was able to negate damage, but not to break out of the hold. So he's doing okay, still alive, still alive. All right, so after PSK, we got Jacer J. So I trust Jacer J that you're gonna continue the fight. Let me just check the chat. I haven't checked in a while. I apologize. Okay, so we still got we, yeah, we still got everybody. This is great. So Commander Root, about TW, Elviler, El Virg, Jacer J, of course, L A Kaylee or La Kaylee, Lana Ray is here, Mr. Bob Marston, aka Bob, Rogue Girl, Sound Alerts is a bot, of course, and the Striker Six Six Seven. Now, if I just called out a bot. I mean, like, there were these certain bots I was like, yeah, he's here again. It's like, oh, he's a bot. Uh, darn it. <laughs> but yeah. I'm not a bot. I'm real. I'm real. I think I am. Okay, I was trying to use the shield block. Oh. Oh. Um, Jacer J, let's see. You're trying to use the shield block. Well, 
here's the thing. The shield block would only come into play when someone takes damage, so you're saying that you wanted to use it way back then? I think it's too late. I think, why don't you use it the next time somebody takes damage? How about that? But I mean, I'll ask you again if you change your mind. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, on the one hand, there's a 10 second delay. On the other hand, it's like, we can't just reverse everything. I'm sorry. Oh, all right. I'm going to look up in chat. My bad. You did say shield block. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, JCJ. Okay, so just for that, so we're going to de basically decide then if he gets caught in the hold at all. All right. Okay, fair enough. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we'll go back and we'll say he plays the card shield block. So that means use the skill on the enemy's turn after a hero next to you has suffered damage. Hey, Zarga, next time you, next time you say you're sorry, I should get a free dagger. Okay. <laughs> so stop apologizing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Zargon never apologizes. Alright. All right. Okay, so he uses it. So basically there's there's no there's no even question about that. So he basically just negated the damage. Alright. Cool. Okay, so because of that, he's not in the hold. Because of that, he doesn't take the damage. So he's at five still. Alright, cool. Now, if you would have done the wrestling move, I wouldn't have undone that. <laughs> yeah, it comes out in your favor. Okay, so nicely done, sir. So, yeah. Hey, Strange wants to join. Is he, can he still join in? Oh, sweet. Thank you. Um, yeah, Strange Bus, if you want to join, um, we got your barbarian can you just waiting. take over SK? Yeah, just... Oh, you're going to put another character in? Go yeah, for it. Yeah, he's been playing as a barbarian, so... I'm happy to bring his barbarian because, frankly, sense. frankly, you guys need it. I mean, you've been doing really well, but this, these guys are no joke. All right, Strange Bus joins. His muscles are like freshly oiled, uh, but then it was really cold, so he put on a coat over the top. And uh, correct, J Sir J, you're correct. Now, him getting caught in the hold would not stop the Berserker effect. That's why I was rolling four dice for him. So I wasn't totally nerfing it, but I hear what you're saying. Okay, so the barbarian uh, enters the doors like, Hooah! he's ready to go. And as usual, he's he's missed most of the fighting, but he's fresh. He's ready to go. So strangeth bus, strangeth bus. He's got a battle axe. So for attack, he's got a shield, a helmet. Now he has to put the Does shield he away. Mirror? Does he have a mirror shield? No. See, that would be cool to get the mirror shield, but in this quest, uh, no, he hasn't. <laughs> I know, it's like, we had these heroes that we were, we strung them along for so many quests, and it was just like, oh man, like, two years ago, that's you found that. <laughs> but no, these are new ones. Sorry. So, he stowed the shield, but he's got a helmet. Oh, he's I got, got a dagger! Up. I got a dagger! Did I apologize? Ah. Oh. Yes, you did. I got a free dagger, man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, two daggers. Okay, so I got two daggers now, right? Do I have I was... a staff too, or just two daggers? Just two daggers. Are we are we just giving away daggers now? <laughs> he if, if I can he get Zarga to say sorry for something. If I if he gets me to say that word, uh, I would give him an extra dagger. So, <laughs> see, you guys what are. What are gonna... you doing? I, I'm, Why? <laughs> they're they're we're walking all over me, man. <laughs> yeah, gotta gotta be firm, uh, firm hand. Okay, so. Um, Strangeth bus, welcome, sir. You have. Uh, sorry, I. Uh, it's been a really rough trek, so I'm. I'm, I'm apologize. It's. Yeah. I thought I was coming. I thought I was going to be on time. I thought I was going to be early, and then. Hey. Wham! Yeah. I got hit with life. So. I'll mention it. Life happens when you're. Doing anything. Okay. So you've got a helmet. You got a chainmail. So. You've got four defense and four attack. That's easy to remember. Just like a chaos warrior, actually. And you've got a healing plus four, you've got warmth, you've got holy water, you've got the armband of ice. So actually you could cross that icy river without a problem if you wanted to. But right now your um, your comrades are all fighting these really, really strong monsters. They took out the uh, the first Yeti with a tombstone pile driver. <laughs> and uh, there's a, another Yeti and a polar war bear uh, behind him. 
And we've got an oh. alchemist. We've got a new. We've got a new fighter that you haven't met yet. So uh, we've got Bob, the uh, the alchemist, has joined the fight, and we've got our two guardian knights. PSK had to dip, but he did have uh, a lot of nice things to say uh, while while we, while he was here, and so we're just kind of continuing on. So I'll go ahead and roll your movement. That long introduction. Everybody check out the strange bus. Everybody check out uh, P underscore S underscore K K underscore studio on Twitch. He does a painting channel. It's really awesome. He does lots of good stuff. It is. For a lot of people. Um, and definitely check out Al Viler's Game Space. He's got a web website. Or is it Game Zone? What's it called? It's on Ye Old End, but L Viler. And if any of you other guys have uh, websites related to Hero Quest or uh, you know streaming or whatever, and you want to post it in the chat, feel free. Okay, so you got a four. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's just enough to get you into the room. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get into that room. Four. Again, like Kurt Russell in uh, Big Trouble in Little China. He's like, ah. It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Partying a little hard in the tavern last night. Uh, skip leg day. Yeah. I'm uh, fashionably late. Fashionably late. But I'm just right on time. Uh, thanks for saving never me skip a monster. Leg day. <laughs> never skip leg day. <laughs> Always skip leg day or never skip leg day. Whichever. Never skip leg day. Never. Yep. Oh, uh, yes. El Viler's game room. El yep. Viler's game room. I'm sorry. I need... Oh! <laughs> Another dagger for him. Okay, this is the last one. From now on, I, ah, I'm backing daggers. out of the deal. I'm backing out of the deal. Okay, so Bob the Alchemist has three daggers. He's gonna he's gonna be like the, he's gonna be like the rogue heir of Elethorn with his bandolier of daggers. That's the new hero that's supposedly coming out this year. So they have another new one, and Amalgamash called the guy at marketing, and he was like, "It's not gonna be a limited release this time. It's going to retail. So hey, you guys should be able to get yours. What skills does the hey, strange Lord have?" What's, yeah, what what skills does Strange Barbarian have? Oh, yeah, I got to draw those. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me on point. Okay, so we're going to have to draw a couple of combat cards from the Ron Shirts deck here. First one, Hidden Reserves. Drawing on Hidden Reserves of Endurance, shrug off wounds that would kill lesser men. And so that so that's like a healing two. And then what's the other one? Um, Heroic Charge. See, these are perfect Barbarian ones. So that would give you two extra combat dice, and your, def your opponent defends with one less. So heroic charge uh, and hidden reserves for you. Thanks, guys. There we go. See, I love it. See, my drinking at the tavern did me well. Yeah, you're just like, ah, just full of bravado. Doesn't feel pain. <laughs> well, he'll feel it tomorrow, but now he's feeling good. Hidden reserves. And if you go to HeroQuestByPhoenix.YieldIn.com, that's where these cards come from. It was actually the first mod that I ever printed out for HeroQuest back in 2002. Lore man. That's what they used to call me. All right. Okay, so Strange Bust, um, <laughs> that's all he could do is get into the room. There are monsters in the room technically, so he can't search anything. Um, all right. So he will go last then. Uh, but now it is okay. I'm and now I've lost track. Okay, so the shield block, boom. He was protected. Uh, so actually, it would be. We're just gonna say it's my turn, because really that's what it should be. Okay, so the yeti is gonna go ahead and attack. He was the yeti is bewildered. It's like he could have sworn that he grabbed PSK, but apparently not. So he's gonna go for it gonna attack him he's attacking him here with three three skulls okay <laughs> i think this is gonna come out in zargon's favor but we'll find out so psk rolls his three in defense all right so he got two white shields and so ching ching but then one more hit him <laughs> So he is down to five. Yeah, he'd be down to... F Wait a minute. Five, four. No, he'd be down to four. Excuse me. He's down to four. Um, and he's caught in the hold. So 
he's going to go ahead and roll. Um, he's, he's still got the Berserker, so he's going to roll four. See if he can get some white shields. Uh, he got one white shield, so he takes no damage. But he's still in the hole. Yeah, thanks, Jacer J. Yeah, thanks, guys, for keeping me on track here. There's a lot to lot to keep track of. PSK was definitely right about that. It's like managing four heroes and the monsters and the chat. <laughs> it's fun though. It's a fun challenge. Uh, that I guess this is why in Dungeons and Dragons the the, the uh, turns take so long because you've got so much to keep track of. Of course, that's anyway. It's another game, another story. Okay, so um, oh, and uh, Strange Bus, are you simulcasting on your channel? Uh, unfortunately not. I like I said, I got here like super late, and if I had to get my stream set up, it oh. would have taken me way too long. So no I, I just won't. I just wondered. It's okay. Um, I like your epic music though. He has some really cool royalty free music. Um, it's a little more like dance clubby than the stuff that I like to use. But hey, each to their own. You've got your own soundtrack. So El Viler asked it's, a question. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, go um, ahead. What were you gonna say? I'll answer his question after that. It's Pretzel Rocks, so it's Pretzel really rocks. anything you can get off Streamlabs, and it's the Epic, they have an Epic channel, which most of it's kind of like, like a medieval tune, but it'll throw in like some club music every now and then. <laughs> nice. Like, like Martin Lawrence, you know, like time traveled and he's like, yeah, like, yeah, what, what's this guy doing here? He's a black knight. Pretty Isn't much. It? All right. Anyway, um, okay. Does Strange Bus have a long sword? Uh, actually, Strange Bus, Strangeth Bus has a battle Don't axe. I? No, you oh. traded it in. You got a, a battle axe. Man, every time I hop in, I've got some sort of awesome weapon in my hands. <laughs> actually, no, it's like no. A blackout. You had you had both. new weapon. Yeah, he remembered. He's you had two weapons, but see, you switched to the battle axe and the ice gremlin stole it. That's actually what happened. <laughs> so somewhere there's Whoa. a long sword stashed away that. Some ice gremlin took. My precious. All right. Um, yeah. In question, answer to your question, Oviler. So this deck of cards, there's like 18 cards in this deck. And so I draw these for the pure combat characters, which would be the barbarian and the dwarf. The uh, the knights already have their preset three skills. But what PSK was like, he was like, I'm, I'm selling my shield, but I feel like I should get two cards now because i would lose my skills so i gave him two more cards to compensate and he used one of them to great effect the rallying cry but he still has the disarm and capture so you guys could capture a monster at, you know that you rolled enough to kill if you wanted to all right good question um okay so yeah so we put the we put him into the hold so the other monster really can't do anything so now it's back to PSK's turn. So he's going to try to get out of the hold if he can. Or at least try to avoid damage. Knucklehead. Oh, we got one. So he doesn't take damage this round. But he's still in the hold. So that Yeti uh, hug pretty much is doing a good job of like holding him in place. Uh, he can't unleash his full fury of strength. Um, now it's Jacer J's turn. So Jace or Jay, what are you going to do? Are you just going to take a swipe at the Yeti, I assume, because it's right there? <laughs> or, I mean, I guess you could step back a square if you wanted to and use your crossbow and then maybe leave room for Strange Bus to jump in. Because you've kind of got him hemmed in there. Because his weapon is only an adjacent attack. But it's up to you what you want to do. And by the way, if anybody has a suggestion for another hero, feel free to type it. I want to attack and move back one space. Okay, I kind of figured, but I didn't want to speak for you. Okay, so I'm sure you're going to get enough movement for that. As long as you roll. Okay, seven. So he moves back. So JCJ backs up, pulls out the crossbow, notches a, a bolt and then he takes careful aim of course it's a one-handed crossbow so i guess it's like a pistol style crossbow and he fires two skulls all right two skulls now Woo! the yeti the yeti's in a hug so he only defends with two instead of three
Oh, blocked one, and he was hit by the other. Ting! Alright, so he takes one damage. Yeah, the soundboard is fun, but it, it takes a while to click to it, and it's it's pretty darn loud, so... I'll just put a skull next to him, because there's just a big pile of tiles. Alright. Yeah, if you were playing hero clicks, you could just click the little uh, base, and it would show the number. I thought about doing that, and I thought, eh, it's so much work, though. The tiles are the classic way of doing it. Okay. Alright, nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Alright, Alchemist. So, Bob, you're exposed, but you do have... You do have a uh, diagonal access to the Yeti. So what are you okay. gonna do? Do you want to look at your um, cards again? Yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, the. What was the? Uh, what do I have for sleep? Oh, uh, paralyzing dart. Oh yeah. There's only were... one monster in the room. Uh, yes. And really, there's only one monster you could access, anyway. Because the Polar War Bear is in a completely different room. So, you can see diagonally okay, to, yeah, to the Yeti. Uh, I'm going to go and do the Paralyzing Dart on him. On the Yeti. Alright. So, uh... Oh, you can actually do Greek Fire instead? Why should I use Greek Fire instead? Jacer J says Greek Fire. Greek Fire. What is the Greek Fire again? Tell me what does. Yeah. How many body points does he have left? Um, so he has four left. Greek fire would be up to two damage. Zero to two. That's uh, not going to kill him. But if I block, if I put him to sleep, he doesn't just kill him without anything. That's true. Yeah, if he's, if he's put to sleep, he can't defend. So you guys could just keep damage on top of yeah, him. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put him to sleep. I'm going to try to see if I'm... I'm going to go ahead and try to put him to sleep with the dart. Okay. Show the dart. Show the picture. Let's see it. Up oh, yeah. Close. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had a lot of fun. No, I'm going to try to do it. Sorry, I'm not a bad team player, I guess, but I'm going to try to... I yeah. tried, I'm well, gonna, I mean, I, you, I give each other, you give each other... Is. Yeah, you give each other suggestions. <laughs> yeah, Jacer J is saying save it, but I mean, it is your choice. It is your character. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to try it. Oh, Big sh Schmoke 92 welcome. Okay, <laughs> welcome to HeroQuest fans. So, um, we've got a new person here. Now, if this person wants to play too, it's like, man, I mean, I don't know if I can manage five heroes. I mean, anything's possible, sure right? Could. Yeah. So we've got the Discord link. If you want to join us and talk live, just go over there. Uh, that's the invite. Welcome to HeroQuest fans. And you can actually go into the Quest Talk voice channel and you can talk with us live. Or you can just type in the live Twitch chat and you can use your channel points, your gold coins, that is, to buy potions. You can buy monsters for me if you feel sorry for the uh, the evil Zargon player. That's me. Or uh, just you can just lurk and have fun. Uh, whatever you want to do. So welcome. Polar War Bear is worse, but he isn't in the room. Was recommended to come here. Yeah. Well, Big Smoke 92. Um, if you like board gaming, if you like fantasy gaming, that's what we're all about. So you'll be welcome. If you go to the Discord. Um, there's people that do painting there. Uh, we just opened a marketplace, so if you want to swap, uh, you know, old games with people, you can do that too. Uh, just want to chat. It's a fun little community. So, in any case, welcome. Um, or if you want to check out the channels of any of these other people, they all do their own thing. So, in any case, thanks for joining us. Okay. So yeah, the paralyzing dart. Okay. So we got the paralyzing dart. Um, so. All right, Bob, this is your choice. Do you want to use it, or do you want to go with Jacer J's advice? No, I want, yeah, I want to use it on the Yeti. Yeah, take the Yeti out. All right, so you use it. So you pull out the uh, the blowgun, and you... It's like, you know, right in his, right in his throat. It's like... <laughs> and he just kind of flops over to the side. It's a cure for anxiety. What's that? It's a cure for anxiety. It's a cure for anxiety. It's like, ha, oh. ha, ha so relaxed <laughs> yeah a little too relaxed he's like oh uh so okay now he has to roll a six for each of his mind points he thankfully he only has two mind points uh yeah jacer j he so both of these monsters have only two mind points so they're very susceptible to that but now that polar that polar war bear is going to be a, a fight i mean it's true but you did have to get through these two yetis as well 
Yeah, Elviler, see, he's got it. He's on point. All right, thanks, guys. All right, so he's going to roll twice to try to get a six. Okay, he failed once. Ugh, he's still he's still staggering. He's staggering. He's going to fall down, guys. Oh, he, down he goes. Down he goes. Yeah. Womp. Just a thump. Just, just a big furry. like He's just like a bearskin rug at this point. But his, his eyes are kind of rolled back in his head. Um, hey, what? Hey, what's the wrestler that always uh, sneaks up on people? So there's quite a few wrestlers that do that. Um, no, no, the the, the, uh, the the meme where the guy always sneaks up. Oh, on people. I, I, okay. think, I I don't know where. Actually, it, there is a wrestler that sneaks up on people, and his name is Randy Orton, and his name is John Cena. <laughs> Tell me you guys heard that. Oh, no. I didn't hear it. Speaker's blown. <laughs> I heard, oh, no. I heard, nothing. I heard nothing because my, my the stream is muted for me for because I can hear you. I hear you and his name is John Cena. <laughs> I was thinking, like, you know, because Randy Orton used to sneak up on well, people to pull the other I was going to say, so. yeah, yeah, Randy Orton does it. Uh, the, the Undertaker does it like the lights go out and like come back on and it's like standing right behind the guy. <laughs> yeah. I can, I'm so glad because like I can imagine, like the, the Gotham is already loud. I can only imagine. Yeah. Poor El well, see, this is the nice thing about a live stream where we're kind of talking it through. In your mind, if you imagine whatever wrestler you imagine doing it, that's the one that does it. <laughs> but his name is John Cena. All right. Yeah. So, yes, it would break the hold. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna agree with you and say yes. Dude deaf. So big smoke, this is what this is what happens. Speaker's blown, deaf. Uh can't enjoy it. Yep, John Cena. Well you <laughs> Okay, so the Yeti is down for the count. Um that was the Alchemist turn. Now you still have movement, Bob. So if you want to. Uh yeah, just just back up. No, no, I actually no, I don't wanna move anywhere because you're still in a good spot. Yeah. Well, okay. No, actually, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Maybe I should just back out. Okay. Just, uh, move, to, move to the right. The three guys, the fighters, going there. So move out to the right. Well, good point, because you're maintaining line of sight with all the heroes, so you can still, yeah, interact with them. Yeah, just move out one. Okay. Come on. Strategy. Yeah. I yeah, sorry, Elviler. Okay, I, I apologize. Oh, no, I, I, I negated that. No more daggers. He's only got three. Um, the sound alerts yeah. I've been using are really loud. So, yeah, you turn your sound up to hear the music, and then you get blown up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, support. Uh, that's what I should do. I should donate to this. There must be some society for, like, the hearing impaired. I can donate to that. That'll be my penance. Okay. <laughs> I'm not joking. I just gotta find them. I'm sure they're online. Okay. Oh, Violet's got a Discord. Oh, neat. I didn't know that. Cool. Well, yeah. Go ahead and share it if you want people to join it. Or you can you can post it in the uh, HeroQuest fans Discord as well. Yeah, I'll join that. I wonder with Discord, how many how many uh, channels can you be in at once? Like, is there a limit, or is your system gonna be super slow if you have like a million oh. of them open? I misunderstood that he, he was, I'm, I'm guessing he's, uh, Bob was asking a question. He goes, oh. I'm in Discord, don't have one. Oh, okay. okay. I misunderstood too. That's all right. It's like, oh, he's got to guess Discord. Everybody go into it. Yeah. Yeah, I was all ready to hop in. I was like, yeah. Yeah, let's raid his, good. well, you don't really raid Discord, <laughs> but yeah, it's another fun thing, uh, raid channels. Okay. Wow. All right, this is this has been fun. I think I think we will have to kind of get to the end of this uh, pretty soon, be, just because it is getting late. But we're off to a great start, so let's let's forge ahead, see what we can do. Okay, so okay, Bob, come on, Zargon, whose turn is it? Bob moved. Okay, it's my turn. So that monster is just laying there like a lump. So he's going to try to wake up, and he completely failed. So he's still just kind of like 
drool and the drool is frozen because it's cold and he's just laying there. All right, the other monster is, is having none of that. The polar war bear is going to step forward over the body of the uh, fallen yeti. It's like, Whoa. Okay, strange bus barian, get in there and One, kill. One, two, three, four. He goes right up to the barbarian. He's not afraid of you. He goes right for you. All right, he's going to attack. Hope you're ready for this. Because as you, as I showed on the card, he gets two attacks. Well, there's a 10 second delay, excuse me. All right. I know, I'm just keeping the suspense going. Okay, he only got one skull. All right. And let's see, where should he aim the other attack? You know what? He's going to attack. Both attacks are going to go at you, so second attack. Um, Missed. Okay, so he only it's one skull against you in total. So here's how I'm handling the double attacks. Is just, If he hits the same target, it's roll, roll, and it's like the whole thing. So it's like he rolled eight. And strange with bus, you defend with four. Right, hey, gonna... uh, you have, you have a question in chat real quick. Okay, what is the turn order? Why does he get all these extra turns? <laughs> he don't care about turn order; he just attacks. <laughs> because so. Oh shoot! No, you're right. Dang it! Um, I forgot that Strange Bus is in the room. He actually could do something. All right. Uh, Zargon's getting tired. Okay, yeah. Uh, you're right, you're right. Because Strange Bus is the last one in line. So after Bob comes Strange Bus. So Strange Bus, when he said Strange Bus, get in there and kill, that's what he meant. And I just was like, nah, I don't care about your turn. It doesn't matter what you think. No, it does matter. Okay. All right. And I was like, I'm, I'm so mixed up myself. I was like, oh, am I going out? I think I'm going after Zargon. And I was like, Zargon okay. Just, and then I saw that. Um, like, dang, he just does whatever he wants, I guess. That's that's cold, man. Well, it is it's frozen horror. Okay, so no, uh, you get your movement, you get your whole turn, my friend. <laughs> Six. Okay, so yeah, the polar war bear that was just in his imagination. That's what he wanted to do. He didn't actually do it. So he's still oh, in the room. The yeti's still lying there, <laughs> meekly on the floor. So you've got six. What what do you want to do, Strange Bus? Oh, let's go ahead and. Uh, approach and attack pretty much we're gonna can i attack the uh One, the two, polar three. war bear yep uh oh can you attack the polar war bear no because you'd be standing right on top of the yeti i mean when a monster is sleeping i'll let you pass through him but i won't let you just stand on top of him unless it was an uncommon feat i guess uh, so um and the yeti is just the yeti is down yeah, right he's yeah he's only taken one body point of damage, but he's paralyzed, so he can't move, oh, so I can... attack, or defend himself. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm trying to think how how I can move without like compromising somebody else's movement. I... Yeah, because you don't have a diagonal attack. You're gonna um, be... yeah, let's like it or not, you're gonna go block and... somebody. Yeah, let's go ahead and move. Um. Let's go ahead and move all the way to the to our left towards the wall in front of the Yeti and attack the Yeti. Okay. So we can yeah, One, kill him two, while he's paralyzed. Three. Thanks, Jason J. Yeah. For having my brain because so, I don't have one tonight. So <laughs> Well, and Jason J, thank you for uh, uh, correcting me too, because yeah, I got all confused. See, sometimes that happens. It's like I'm so ready to do my turn that I just don't even think about it. Like, oh shoot. It doesn't matter what the turn order is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're attacking with your battle axe, I take it. Yeah. As opposed to he he headbutts him. Okay, well it's one. <laughs> He's got a big head, but not that big. Yeah. Alright, so you attack two skulls, and he can't defend himself, so he takes two damage. See, I just about got the sound effect down. When we were kids, we would uh we would just do the sound effects. It was like required. So he's taken three body points of damage. He's got two left. 
All right. Okay, now it's Sargon's turn. And because of the square is blocked, the polar war bear can't do anything. I mean, I guess he could kill the guy and then move into the room, but why would he do that? So he's just going to wait. He's just going to bide his time. We're staring each other down. Yeah. He's just like... Ugh. You're next. No, you're next. <laughs> no, you're... Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's He's like, you know, just like spittle on, uh, on his face, but it's like it's frozen, so he's just like chipping it off with his gauntlet. He's like, oh, gross. Okay. Can you smell la, 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 la. what the Yeti is dreaming? <laughs> that's, uh, that's deep. Okay. So now we're back to PSK. And since he's not held anymore, he has... Let me just look at his character sheet. Oh, you got a nap, bro. Could throw his club. Oh, we're getting an ad. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Could throw his club, but then he'll only get one attack. <laughs> yeah, Elviler has a point there. Uh, so yeah, this is this is this one's for the subs. Okay. So um, normally he would attack with four, but he's got the Berserker Brew, so that's two more. So it's six. Six combat dice. All right. So when we last left our heroes, I was deciding. So PSK is ready to go. He's got six attack dice. Should I take him down, folks? He says. Everybody nods in agreement. I'm gonna go for the Eti. Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's true. See, Elverg makes a good point, a lore point. So, <clears throat> why would the uh, polar war bear attack be four with his paw and four with his club. You think, well, maybe he's got a lame paw. Maybe one of his paws isn't as strong. So he's got the club to compensate. Or maybe because he's holding it in one hand, it's kind of awkward. And so it's actually less efficient. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so <laughs> two skulls. Uh, I think that's going to finish him. Fatality. His body was never found. Alright, so the Yeti has been punished. 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 <laughs> Alright, do you think PSK would move? I mean, I'll let you guys decide. Lack of a fight, man. Yeah. He's got a five. But yeah, it, there's no reason for him to really move out of the way, is there? Maybe he's not a lefty, so the club only does four. Yeah. I I mean, it could be. Jacer J, L. Tyler, both, both plausible. Yeah, he's an anthropomorphic uh, bear. But, I mean, he could be like, uh, is it a koala? Or, uh, uh, well, I guess he's more like a polar bear than a, than a panda. Because a panda would have an opposable thumb, I think. If I remember my grade school uh, zoology. All right, so, okay, so after PSK comes Jacer J. He would wait. Yes, that's right, he would wait. All right, Jacer J, you are up. My friend, what would you do? You just got boxcars. You just rolled boxcars. So are you going to run forward and fight, or are you going to maneuver yourself so that you could use your crossbow? I mean, it's your call. Yes, you can. You can move and shoot. All right. I'll position you, let's see, one, two, yeah, yeah, I think you can, do the little uh, line of sight thing, yep, right through the secret door, all right, so you're going to shoot him, shoot him with the crossbow bolt, all right, two skulls, and the polar war bear is going to defend with his normal defense, which is three. So actually, he's, his defense isn't that strong. See, he's got a strong attack. He's got a strong body, but his mind points and his defense are his downfall. What did I say? Two skulls? Fire one ready. It was two skulls, right? Okay, so he um. got... 
I was going to say, yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, I'm delayed. I'm getting tired, I'm sorry. Not not another dagger. I already said it. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Ching! But then also... Okay, so he lost one, so he's taking a hit. First blood on this monster. The uh, It's a boar. It's a polar bear boar. I don't get it. Polar bear boar. It's an animal worthy of great respect. Ah. Okay. Hey, Jacer J used the crossbow emote. Nice. Okay. All right. After Jacer J comes the alchemist. Now, the alchemist is no longer in range of the monster. So, to get in range, he's going to have to move. So, what do you think, Bob? What is your Oh, that's call? ridiculous. Yeah, we really got boxed in there. Yeah. So... I mean, you could always wait, but... Uh, what, do I got a strength, what do I got that's a strengthening thing for my, uh, the other heroes? Okay. So you've used up the Flask of Fog. You've used the Paralyzing Dart. Use, the Berserker Brew is still in effect. You got the Warhog Bladder, which gives yourself or somebody else double movement. Uh, you've got the Healing... I don't need a double movement. You've got Healing Tonic. I mean, you could use it to Who's heal. injured? Uh, Knucklehead, PSK, he's down to four out of max of seven. So you would restore him back to four. Okay, go ahead and heal him. Okay. With the... All right. The healing tonic. Healing tonic on him. All right. You get out your tonic, you shake it up. He's like, what? <laughs> you just kind of like toss it, toss it into his mouth. <laughs> he gets all healed. All right. So he is back to full. He finds his strength returning back at seven nicely done okay because you do have a, you do have an extra uh, healing for yourself uh, when that's left if you need it but you're playing it safe so all good okay so uh, alchemist so and are you gonna move it all no uh, no I'm gonna it's not gonna move okay don't have to all right now, Strange Bus, I'm not going to skip your turn this time, even though I want to. No, I'm kidding. Well, I do, but I'm going to I'm gonna play it straight. Okay. So, Strange Bus. Oh, Ghost in a Taco. Welcome. Hey, I've seen you before. Welcome to your request, fans. I'll just go ahead and link the Discord as well. If you want to join us there, you can actually talk to us live, or you can just listen along. It's cool. Um... Yeah, he's uh, he's a regular at um, Strange Buses um, Twitch. Yeah, any any of his members are welcome to be my members, and vice versa. Like everybody, share everybody, go visit everybody's channel. Have a just growing community. It's great. All right. So uh, Strange Bus, what say you? Strangeth Bus. Um, straight. So can I attack the bear right now? Uh, you're going to have to move forward to do so, because you can only attack adjacently with your battle axe. Now, okay, what? you do have... So, for your cards, your hidden reserves, I mean, you don't have to use it yet, because you haven't taken any damage. But your heroic charge would allow you to attack with two extra combat dice, and they would defend with one less, if you used it. But you will have to move up into his grill to attack. Well, let's use that, and then... You'll move up and attack. Sounds good. Okay, so you cash that in. I'm surprised nobody in the chat has bought anything yet. Well, I, sh I take that back. You guys have bought some stuff, so... But that was earlier in the quest. But, I mean, it's pretty intense right now, you know? Anything can happen. Okay, so you move forward. You got six. You got enough movement. So you move forward. And you attack. Now, normally your battle axe would be four. Strangest bus. So you're ready... Uh, your weapon, but then you've got a heroic charge. You're like, Aah! oh boy, I'm sure glad I got that out of my system. And you run, run at him. <laughs> and you attack with two extra, so you've got six. And he defend, or he only defends with two, because he's just like, what? You know, he's like Shao Kahn, but you just came at him with like, you know, a nine-hit combo. It's like, what is this? That was pathetic. All right. <laughs> Three skulls. Uh, Three skulls. Alright. Dodge this. And he got no defense. 
Alright, so he's taken three hits of damage. So he's down to three. So he's half defeated. He's he's pissed. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, well, you reap the whirlwind, my friend, because he's coming at you now. And he's coming at you full throttle. Oh boy. It will not be like Beggar's Canyon back home. Alright. Um, hey, what's that flashing? Hey, <laughs> watch it, kid, or you'll find yourself floating home. All right. <laughs> I think like Dustin Crops, boy. I didn't quite get the quote right, but anyway. Okay, um, so he got one skull. And he's going to direct his second attack as well. So. Uh, no, one skull. So it's overall, it's two skulls against uh, our resident barbarian and he defends with so two skulls and he defends with four so you got your helmet and your chainmail uh ching and you get hit by the other one so you took first blood so you're down to seven or he took first blood against you okay um all right hero's turn so Technically, PSK can still see a monster. He can see diagonally through, but he can't actually hit him. He can't hit the uh, polar war bear from where he's standing. So PSK is, is just kind of there. Um, what do you think, guys? Should he move out of the way? or should? Well, I'm just like daring you to lose your line of sight. You probably shouldn't if you want to keep it. Give a gold. Oh, Elverg is saying, give a gold option to buy mercs for the heroes each quest. Ah, I like Elverg's suggestion. So he's saying, because I could, I could limit it to say like a certain number of mercenaries per quest. So that way it wouldn't be abused. Like, oh yeah, you have 50 mercenaries now. <laughs> that would take a lot of gold. Yeah, I like it. I'll, I'll okay. Okay, thank you. Is, I'll take it first. now. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, keep me on track. Okay, so, um, after that, um, yeah, really, um, Jace or J really can't hit him. And so, Bob the Alchemist, you really can't do anything either. Unless you're going to speed somebody up or move, but... Oh, he didn't move out of the way? Nah. So, basically, it's 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 back to the Barbarian Sorry. again. That's that, okay. That was my fault. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you had to use your movement to get up to him. So you want to attack him again with just your regular strike? Yes. All right. And then can I move out of the way? Yes, you can. So attack, then move. Okay, one skull. And so he defends with three. Ching! He blocked it. All right, so you roll for movement. And you get a six. So where do you want to move? Just just back up, or what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, let's move um, two spaces back. Okay. Boom. All right. My turn. All right. Polar Warbear steps into the room. Boom, boom. He pursues the Barbarian. Yeah, come in here. Come to me. You do that uh, Bruce Lee thing where he's like, Come here. Just with his hand. And, and kind of tips his head up like like you over here. Alright. Got Um What am I doing here? Okay. He's gonna direct the first attack at him. Okay, so one skull. And yeah, he's gonna do them both, because he's single minded. So one skull, second skull. Okay, so he's got two skulls against you, Strange with Bus, and you're defending four. Once again, ching ching, you blocked them both. <laughs> Nicely done. I mean, it's just a dice roll. Yeah. But, yeah. He just like, <laughs> just like uh, Luke in Return of the Jedi when he's blocking the speeder bike, you know, shooting. He's like, <laughs> yeah. Enter the dragon. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a common feat taunt. Yep. 
<laughs> yeah, the taunt. We'll see. You could, yeah, you could come up with a like a house rule for that. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, he does the does the cool little role playing moment. Okay, all right. Now PSK could swoop in from behind and make an attack. So he's got seven. Um, yeah, Jaser J, <laughs> totally. Okay, so uh, what do you think, guys? Should he come in and attack? Kind of seems like yeah, go would. for it. Yeah, go right. for it. So I can get in there too. Yep. I'll do I a don't... diagonal something on him. All right, so he go he moves in, moves in for the kill, and takes out his mighty battle axe. Well, it's been out this whole time. He's been sharpening it, you know, getting it ready to go. All right, one skull. Monster defends. Three. No defense. All right, so he took another hit. So he's taken four hits of damage. He's got two left. He's badly wounded. Wait, what am I saying? He had the Berserker. So it was two more. So let's uh, let's roll two more for him. Excuse me. Ah, I've got a little more where that came from, he says. And he takes another, uh, another swing. Oh, but he didn't do any more damage with that one. Still, let that be a lesson to you, he says. <laughs> Because uh, he's always got the hype train going. Okay, now we've got a Jacer J. No, he is hero. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it, it really wasn't a second attack. It's just that I forgot to roll six dice. I rolled four, so I just rolled the other two, and it wasn't anything. So it's just like he's like, Hua! I was like, ha ha, ha ha. Okay, Jacer J, you wanna? Take a piece of this monster. Swing at bear. Bear die. All right. Let's see. Let's see if it happens. All right. Two skulls. All right. Monster rolls. Yeah. If we could just get Zargon to roll a little faster. I mean, part of me, I'm just like hanging back for the 10 second delay. But then it's like, is it gonna be a 20 second delay? Oh, no defense. Two skulls. Boom, boom. He goes down. There we go. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> fell down so hard, PSK fell down with him, but then he got up, dusted himself off. Not bad. Took his heart out, ate it. <laughs> yeah. This time he cooked it over a fire. You know, he, it's. Uh, I know it's cold and everything, but, you know, you can't be too careful these days. All kinds of diseases. So, um, all right. So you've taken out that monster, and... This would almost be a perfect place to stop, but I don't know. What do you think? Do you guys want to go for a little bit longer? Um, Maybe explore the room. Well, uh, I would say let's let's leave it up to the people in chat, or yeah, uh, if you want to keep going, because I mean, I'm, I just arrived, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to. I mean, uh, tomorrow I don't have to get up as early as I normally do, but I do have to get up, so. Yeah, um, yeah, we, we can play a little bit longer if you guys are up for it. see if there's any treasure there. Come on. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So after, uh, so who did the killing blow? Is Jacer J? So Alchemist. Seven. So you're going into the room? The tomb room or the, uh, the other room? Tomb room. Okay. Tomb room, tomb room. One, two, three, four. Tomb raid. Tomb raid. Okay, so you go in there. And are you searching for treasure then? Yeah. Okay. The first hero to search for treasure in this room finds the snowshoes of speed lying atop the tomb. And I'm going to have to even look because I don't remember what they do. I think they might allow you to move quickly over ice. But let me just see if that's the case. Go south. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't see it until now. They're better, better than rabbit boots. Who's who's got the boots now? Um. So the snowshoes of speed just went to uh, Bob the Alchemist. So I'll oh, good. Them. Okay, phew. Snowshoes 
of speed. And you usually don't think of snowshoes being as being fast. But um, now I don't want to be sharing that just because. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to actually go to the page to get it. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I like rabbit boats better. Rabbit boots, yeah. Well, it's funny because there was a game that we played in our like family game night, and a certain player at our table kept getting rabbit boots because I'd put extra cards in the deck, and it was like, I guess I didn't shuffle it enough. It's like you got the rabbit boots again. It's like, all I, all I, I played this lousy game, and all I got were these rabbit boots. Okay, the snowshoes of speed. Uh, they add two squares of movement. Okay, two two squares to your movement. And let's see what what else do they do? Come on, load, load, load. Okay, add two squares to the hero's movement, and they also negate the effects of slippery ice for as long as they're worn. So I think uh, Strange Bus, were you there when you kept slipping on the ice and falling down? So, yeah. Yeah. And it only works in uh, quests in cold, icy regions. So, still. Okay, so the Alchemist has that artifact. All right, no monsters, so it is now PSK's turn. I'm sure he's going to want a piece of that treasure. So he only gets three. He's going to go ahead and move into the room. One, two. He's going to search for treasure. And since uh, that was the quest treasure, so we're going to go ahead and uh, draw a card for him. Very fitting. Snowshoes better. Yeah, now the rabbit the rabbit boots are nothing to sneeze at. The rabbit boots allow you basically to a greater chance of jumping a trap. So normally it's a 50% chance. There it's a 1 in 6 chance you'll fail. So pretty useful. Nothing! He found nothing! Alright. <laughs> Anticlimactic. But hey, at least it wasn't a wandering monster, right? Well, he would have probably would have enjoyed that, actually. Sorry. Strange bus turn. Is it my turn? Um. No, it's Jace or Jay's turn. It's pet rabbits. Oh, oh man. Too soon. So maybe it's, it's faux rabbit fur. Maybe it's squirrel fur. Well, it's a rabbit because it lets you jump over. Okay. So, um, Jace or Jay, you're going to the room. One, two. Jace or Jay, are you want to search for treasure as well, or search for something else? Mm. Go after. Oh, do you guys want to trade places and have him go last? I don't have a problem with that. Strange Bus, you want to go? Uh, go next. He said yes, loot. Yes, loot. Oh, okay. So, Strange Bus, are you going to search also? Yes, I will do that. Okay. And, and I'll just do it that way from now on, unless you guys tell me otherwise. I mean, when there's no monsters, I don't mind if people are going to switch turn order. I mean, it's confusing as heck for me, but whatever. <laughs> it works. Are you getting chaos cards every time there's not monsters? Well, I decided at the beginning of this that the, the Frozen Horror was so hard, and because I was playing with mostly people who never played Hero Quest before... I wasn't going to use those chaos cards. Oh, now, man. If it was getting too yeah, easy... If you got chaos cards, we wouldn't yeah. be wasting any time. We'd be running through the thing. Yeah, now people can buy cards. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. So the normal turn order was this, because we added people as we went. It was PSK, then Jace or J, then Bob, then Strange Bus. If I did it wrong once or twice, that was my bad. A couple times I thought it was my turn. Uh, I thought it was PSK, Jacer J, Bob, Strange Bus. Is that what I said? Two extra. <laughs> yeah, it's like 
He's he's got a bandolier of them now. Okay, hey, Bob. At this point in time, you're gonna have like a bag of daggers. You might yeah. want to start like changing the deal to something else, like money or cars well, or he could, horses. He could, or, he could yeah, cash horses, yeah. castles, lands, <laughs> crops. It'd be like victory points, gold coins, push-ups. You know, yeah, jewels. Okay, this is strange. This bus. You find a small wooden box. It's simple looking and very old, and it's filled with protein powder. No I'm kidding. Within you discover it is lined with velvet. Canes, very small jewels worth 50 gold coins. Well, hey, not too shabby. Think of all the protein powder you can buy with those gold coins. <laughs> protein oh. powder. Get all, get buff. Yep. It's already buff. It's going to stay buff. Uh, can't find my pencil. Well, that's... That's ridiculous. Okay, well, everybody just remember that he got 50 gold coins. All right? Somebody type it in the chat. 5,000. 50,000 gold coins. No. 50 gold coins. What person's turn on screen? Yeah. No, D Ghost in the Taco, I think you're right. I think from now on we should have, like, a turn card or something. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, because some games actually have that. It's like, oh, you've got the talking stick. It's your turn. Like that kind of thing. Um, and technically, you can use the hero cards as turn cards. So, all right. So he did that. So Jace or J comes into the room. We're just going to say, yeah, he went ahead and did that. And he also searches for treasure, unless you change your mind. Um, Jace or J's turn. Potion of Strength. You got the Potion of Strength. It's two extra combat dice when you drink it. Uh, and that means the next time you attack, you get two extra combat dice. You can only be used once. So it's just it's just for one attack. But it's pretty good. That guy skipped leg day. Yeah. Well, you know, it could be, could be your arms. Okay, now I really do have to grab a pencil. One sec. Oh, here's one. All right, so we've got Chaser J. Strength, plus two. And we've got 50 gold for Strange Bus. Okay, got it. So great suggestions. Okay, and let me just write down the suggestions. So Elverg was saying mercenaries by mercenaries. And Ghost and Taco turn on screen. Jacket is lifting weights. Okay. <laughs> oh, you mean Jacer? Oh yeah, look wow, look at those guns. I didn't think firearms had been invented yet, but I guess they have. Of course they have. They're just uncommon. Not like these. Look at those trebuchets. Yeah, <laughs> look at those catapults, those ballistas. All right. Okay. Yeah, that, I mean, they did have cannons and stuff. Okay. Um, hand cannons. Oh. All right. Uh, so, okay. Boom, boom. Now, alchemist. So, Bob, you've already searched the room for treasure. So, what's what are you going to do on your turn? Uh, go ahead and uh, search for... No, what am I saying? Just movement, roll, run to the other door. Six, okay. Wait, do I have a speed? Do I have a speed? I have a speed, don't I? Use my special speed thing. Yeah. My gallbladder or whatever it is, my speed first. What's <laughs> Your war my my hog bladder. bladder. Oh man, he's going to activate so many monsters, you guys are going to be... My, my goose bladder, what is it? It's a war hog... So there, it, there's a... It's like... just Show picture... the card, show the card. Oh, oh yeah. Do that and then roll my dice. Go flying <laughs> to the level. Did, did, I, did I hear you say gallbladder? gallbladder. <laughs> he takes his gallbladder out. Oh, man. This is weird. Ugh. Alchemist or... Yeah. yeah, Yeah. so it's like, you know, those giant pigs that the goblins ride into battle. Like, so you take that out, you, you dry it out, you turn it into a big balloon. You strap it to your back, you let the air out of it, and you just go flying. So, okay. So he's going to go flying out of the room. Yeah, we need a special a special sound effect for the warthog bladder. Whoa! It would be like a cartoon, like Scooby-Doo. 
Actually, one of the like cartoon companies has that as their uh, like their logo. It's like dar, 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 doing. What am I thinking of? Is that Shout Factory? I don't know. I think so. Five, <laughs> eleven. Okay, so you got sixteen movement. Okay, so where are we gonna take you? One, two, three, four, five, six. You're into the next room. Are you gonna jump over anything? Because that's sure. that's what PSK was doing, as if he somehow knew. Okay, so uh, you're gonna just have to tell me which door are you heading towards? Are you heading towards the second door, the southern door, the one that's still closed? Nobody's been in the southern door, right? Nobody's been in there yet. Yeah, go that way. Okay. Okay, but now one, two, three, four, five squares. So which of those five squares are you gonna try to jump over, if any? Uh, whichever one they identified as the trap. Well, we haven't searched for traps, so it's just a blind jump. So it'd be up to you. One that have been the one the path that was taken last time, where the, I thought somebody ran through it. Oh, already. I see what you're saying. Okay, so he jumped over this square, landed here, and then he jumped, and then he, he do what he did. Okay, so we're gonna see if you jump, and if you land on it, well, I guess we'll find out if he was right or not. It's like Indiana Jones, you know, step on the same tiles. I'm flying with the warthog bladder. I don't know how I can possibly hit anything. <laughs> well, you know, okay, fine. It's an uncommon feat then. All right, let's see. <laughs> All right. Uh, he failed. Okay, so, I mean, technically I rolled a skull. You know what? Because of the delay, we'll say that you succeeded. And uh, so he just flies over the top. Fine. Fine. One, two, three, four. He doesn't trip anything. He just kind of like flies through the air. His feet barely touch the ground. All right. And so you're stepping into the room? Yep. All right. So you open the door. You're just like pressed up against the door. You're like, open! Your face is pressed up against it. You're like, Wah! it forces you in. Wah! Unfortunately, there was a trap there on the other side of the door. It was a swinging axe trap. Uh, I, should fly, I should fly over the trap at an uncommon speed. Okay, let's see if it happens. Poor Pumbaa. <laughs> Bob's inventing them now. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, it failed. You got a black shield instead of a skull. So uh, you you tried to like dodge it, but unfortunately the, the, the Warhog bladder just like pushed you right into it. So it still hit you. Your Rips flight. out gold platter instead. <laughs> it, it punctures it and goes... Hey, I need that gallbladder for later. Yeah, it's got the <laughs> gallbladder's fine, but the warhog bladder, like, maybe at the last second, it just, like, deflated the whole thing. Okay, what trap was it? I okay. roll for the trap. What swing trap an, is it? Swing an axe trap. When a hero moves onto the square, a huge axe swings out from a hidden alcove in the ceiling. The hero then rolls two combat dice. Okay, and so for each each hit you take, you lose a body point. I'll roll the monster dice for this one. Okay. Uh, oh, one, one skull. Give me axe. Okay. You don't get to roll to defend. And the, the bad thing about the swinging axe trap is that it doesn't go away. Like, someone would actually have to disarm it. So it just stays there. So you you want to avoid that square at all costs. Okay, so the alchemist... Is there a door in this room, or is this room just empty? Oh, yeah, can you see that door to the side? There's a door, like, right next to you. Here, let me adjust the camera. Can I throw my dagger at the door to open it? <laughs> throw your dagger at the door? <sighs> oh, man. He's so inventive. Okay, uh, well, maybe it's a really big dagger. Let's. Okay, it's an uncommon yeah, I'm feat. Throwing my, I'm throwing my dagger. If I lose, I lose it. I'll do it as an uncommon feat. Yeah, you throw it as hard as you possibly can. Somehow, it, like... Clang! I guess the door was already open and it just kind of like cracked open. <laughs> One of the monsters left it open. All right, so you're going to reveal everything in the room. So let's cross off one of those ill-gotten daggers. It's like, hey, I want a fair and square. You're right. Okay. Uh, let's see, what's in the room? Um, 
Wait. Oh, it's just the other half of this room here. Excuse me. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you lost a dagger, but at least you got the door open. Exactly. So it's just the icy river. Okay. See? This room is just the green room. is just empty. There's just nothing there. Oh, no. There actually is something. Excuse me. There is. See, I, did, I just Oh, said, now you tell me. There is a piece of furniture. I forgot to put the furniture okay. out. There's a table. The table! Yes, it's a nine-foot table. Okay, and... Whoops. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Okay, there's a door here. Just out of just out of view. Okay, there's no, 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 no. Okay. a door at the bottom. I'm going to throw my dagger at that door. I no. apologize. Give me one, one, one uncommon feat per turn. How about that? From now on. <laughs> okay, fine. How about that? How about that? Okay. All right. Well, see, I'm Catch me out feet master right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes people will buy stuff, and it's like he already did that. It's like, okay, fine, he gets to do it again. So, if somebody in the chat want in the Twitch chat wants to buy Bob an uncommon feat to give him another chance to open another door, <laughs> you can. Otherwise, we're just gonna move on. All right, next turn, next turn, go for it. It's gonna give him twenty seconds to do it. All right, we'll just see. We'll monitor the chat. No cash. Well, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Um, there's only so much gold to go around. Okay. Uncommon feats aren't cheap. All right. So, no monster. Oh, oh they just did. Ones. Yeah. Use my other dagger on the door. Okay. Just to open the door. All right. You throw it. Let's, yeah, I got, let's... Lots of I got lots of daggers. Maybe there's a guy there. Why Thanks, not? Thanks, Elviler. Elviler has been stockpiling. Oh, it failed. You saw that. It was a white shield. So, he lost the dagger. and well, At least we're getting rid of those daggers. Yeah, there was a delay. All right, fine. Next turn, move on. Yeah. See, we need the sound effect. They're like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yeah. Or, or the cheering for the opposite. Okay. So you're down to your one dagger again. Well, you're no worse off than you were before. Okay. All right. Strange is bus. So you've, yeah. already, you've already searched the room for treasure, so what are you going to do? You got I'm gonna, five, uh, five for movement. Uh, okay, where where am I exactly on this board? There we go. Because I think we're looking at Bob right now. So yeah, you're right here in the tomb room. I just okay. I had to adjust the camera there. Buster, um, thank you, Jacer. Can I? You, can you interact with the tomb at all? Uh, well, you already you already searched, and I mean, oh, you're, okay. there's yeah. Sorry, I'm a little bit slower at this because I'm still okay. kind of new. Let's That's go ahead and head pretty well. head towards. Um... Yeah. <laughs> this, this is the guy that finished quest two on his own. You need to get the Wilhelm. <laughs> yes, yes, the Wilhelm. Oh man, that is a perfect suggestion. He's like, let's go. <laughs> I can't quite. Let's do it. go ahead and move to the. the uh... We're gonna head move towards where where Bob is. I'm I'm getting lots of great suggestions on this stream. I appreciate it. Okay, that's going on the list. You just made the list. Okay, sorry. Uh, say it again, Strange Bus. Or move towards where Bob is. So I'm okay. just pretty much gonna follow him. Okay. And One, uh, two, I'll check for treasure in the room I'm in, or I'm going to the room that I'm going to. Oh yeah, because you couldn't before because there was monsters. All right. Yes. Treasure. Strange bus search for treasure. Yeah, and if you think of stuff uh, after the stream, like cool suggestions, just DM me or PM me, or I guess you can whisper to me. <laughs> yeah, it's all weird. You can whisper to me on Twitch, or you can send me a direct message on Discord as well. Gold! Gold! Yeah. You find a loose stone and tear it from the wall. Behind it, you discover a small leather pouch wrapped in an old rag. Peering inside, you find 25 gold coins! why I suddenly turned into that cartoon character, but... Okay, so 25. <laughs> Go! Alright, nice. so I'm at 75 right now then, right? Yep. Or no, uh, because you had 25 to start with, left over, so 50... Yeah, I got 100. There we go. Oh yeah, and uh, PSK had 150. I'm gonna have to 
I hate using pen on these things, but yeah, get some white out. All right. Okay, so uh, no monsters. So back to um, PSK. I'm sure he's going to go with the group. Because um, he learned the hard way. Never split the party. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, is he going to keep on going or is he going to risk it? Because he can't really jump that last square. He told me not to kill him this time, so. All right. He just boldly jumps on that square and he, he like stomps on it really hard. He starts doing like a tap dance on it. <laughs> like, he's like, is, is anything happening, guys? He's like <laughs> tap dancing. He's like. He's like putting like all his weight on it. He's like, you know, just punching the ground. Nothing happened. All right. Nothing. Nothing. It's like, we'll shoot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Jacer J. Getting silly. All right. Nine. It's the best part about how this is getting yeah, silly. Is. Yeah. All right. Jacer J. Uh, you want to just go where the action is? Just to the unexplored regions. Let's adjust the camera. Yeah, new players usually learn not to split the party on the second time through the trial. Wait, I want to move forward and search for traps. Oh, okay. Good good call. One, two, three, four. Step into the room. And you're searching for traps. So, yeah, everybody was kind of suspicious of that room. So... Right away, you see that... Okay, if I can just put my finger there. So that square in front of you looks suspicious. This square over here looks suspicious. And that square down there looks suspicious. So if I had to... Back when we were kids, we would do this. We would put a... There's one. There's another one. And there's another one. So those three squares look suspicious. And yes, uh, they would have triggered, but we had some uncommon feats and some jumping and some crazy action happening that nobody triggered those. Believe it or not. Don't question Zargon. The danger zone. We went yeah. right into the danger zone. Yep. Highway to it, in fact. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, have you seen Maverick? I have not. Bob, have you seen Maverick? I don't care to discuss it. <laughs> Just wondered uh, if you were thinking thumbs up or thumbs down, if you have. If not, no worries. But the but 80s song, it's the ride into the, the original, dangers of From the original Top Gun. Okay, well, my thought is, how can how can a sequel ever live up to the original? It's, it was a good song, even if you never saw the movie. All right. So, okay, so now that those traps potential traps are revealed um so that is jacer j so uh bob alchemist you don't have to answer the movie trivia so you've got a seven a stream fix the stream da, 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 da. all right we're restarting okay, everybody has to do, everybody has to do a, everyone has to do squats all yeah. right push up on coach Come on, coach. <laughs> yep. I'm always snacking, man. Yeah, but see, when, when Strange Bus is doing it, it's uh, protein powder, protein shake, you know, protein bars, pre-workout, post-workout, post you know. Protein bladder. Energy drinks. Yeah. <laughs> protein bladder. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. I think you should see. See your doctor if you have protein bladder. Sorry to anyone in the stream who does have protein bladder. And that's not an extra dagger for you. Alright, I think the stream oh, is, should be back. Alright, is the stream back? Better. Yeah, it's back. Alright, it's back with an I ad. Did a squat. Okay, except for subs. Subs don't see the ad. Okay, welcome back. Thank you for uh, thank you for watching. Okay, so he fell into the swinging axe track. And let us go ahead and see what happens. So we roll two attack dice make sure you're following yep rate comment subscribe 
ring the bell for notifications. Oh, that's on YouTube. Excuse me. Uh, follow, and if you want to, sub. Or gift a sub. Actually, I think gifting a sub is cooler because it's like, you know, you can just give it to someone hey, else. Hey, you do this. Hey, Zargon, you do this what? Every, what days do you do this? What day do you stream? Yeah. Okay, so every Friday, well, most, almost every Friday from 2 to 4 p.m. Central Standard Time U.S., uh, we do HeroQuest discussion news. Sometimes we read a Choose Your Own Adventure style book. Saturday, we try to game if we can. And that is 6 to 10 p.m. Central Time. Now, today we got started a bit late, so that's where we're going a bit later. But yeah, 2 to 4 Fridays, 6 to 10 Saturdays. And you can uh, check us out on Twitch have a, and uh, up, uh, schedule. On your screen, like the times. Oh, yeah. No, that's a great idea. Sub, bruh. <laughs> yeah, big smoke. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. I mean, sometimes we'll do special events, but most of the time, it's that's what we do. That's what we do. Okay. So the swinging axe trap, you took one damage. Uh, one of them missed, but the other one hit him. So Bob the okay. Alchemist is Moving down. On. That was his first hit. So he's down to three. Yeah, you get, keep me on track, because I'm starting to lose the plot here. Like, quick, get him. Okay. Um, all right. No monsters, so we're back to uh, PSK. He got eight. He's going to head for the door, but he's going to jump over those. He's going to try to hurdle, hurdle those traps. Actually, what he would do is he would go one, two, three, and then he would go to the side is what he's trying to do. So I'm just going to do it for him. Let's see. Ghost and Taco redeemed a bonus monster. Hey, somebody's on the side of chaos. All right. So, ooh, he failed. So he fell into the trap himself. So let's see what happens to PSK. Oh, he took two damage. Wow. Wow. That did not go well for him. So he's down to five. Five body points. Okay. Kako, what you doing, man? He just uh, redeemed a monster for me. So I guess I have my choice. Um, I'll probably just, you know, in the past I've done a random monster, so I'm just going to get the monster deck out here. I'm just going to shuffle those up, making sure to put the Chaos Warrior on top. I mean, whoops, was my microphone still on? I didn't mean to say that out loud. What room does monster go? Well, <laughs> yeah, you know, Elviler, that's, there's that. It's like, it's either the Wandering Monster or a random draw. What do you think, guys? Go ahead and vote. Option. Well, just just tell me, I guess. What do you think? Should it be uh, a random draw or a wandering monster? Because you don't know what the wandering monster is. Gotta have some action going on. Yeah, see, I'm with Taco. You know, uh, he'd make a pretty good orc, I think. <laughs> or maybe a chaos warrior. Push about 40 minutes per room. I know, I know, Elberg. I know that. You're right. Uh, it's like, cut the chatter. Get to the action. Well, you know, people say, oh, here, Quest is just roll the wall action. Well, there's a lot of... Okay, let's do the Wandering Monster then. I, li I like the Wandering Monster. So the Wandering Monster in this quest are two Fimmer, which in this uh, would translate to two uh, abominations. Monster climbs out of tomb. Oh, sweet. I like that idea so much, I'm going to use it. Thank you, Jacer J. It was a secret passage, and these two fish monsters just clambered out, brandishing their weapons, ready to go. All right, and that's all they get to do. Okay, awesome. Okay, um, where were we? Uh, ba -da -ba -da. He, so he got hit by the thing, and then the thing. Okay, Jace or J? Two, snake eyes. Almost as long. Well, D&D, &D, you can have a turn that's an hour. Not when PSK is playing, but that's what I've, that's what I've heard. Okay, so he goes one, and he doesn't go because he can't jump over it. Um, okay. Now, Bob the Alchemist. You just rolled 11. What are you doing? I say talk makes good company, man. Yeah, well, I mean, 
here's the thing though, when you watch the VOD, you can watch it at double speed. But yeah. I mean, it would be interesting. We could play a game where we just say no chatter, just straight up, and see how quickly. Because I've done a quest in like 40 minutes. Like, it's possible. But man, it's it's quick. <laughs> and if you get a lot of Whoa. monsters, it's not quick. Hey, go and do my... Hey, go ahead and somebody take my guy, okay? I'm going to have to head out. Oh, Good game, everybody. Good game. We'll do it again sometime, okay? Yeah, thanks for joining us. This was pretty awesome. Not bad for a first outing. Yeah, just save my... Hey, Zargon, just save my character and uh, somebody take over my uh, alchemist. I don't know how you guys are going, but... <laughs> so Big big Smoke is uh, in yeah, Taco. Good night. Hey, good night. Have a good night, man. Thanks for joining us, Bob. Good game. All right. Actually, um, yeah, so it's his turn. He got 11... What do you think? What do you think he should do? I mean, he's on that deadly square, so he should definitely move off of it. But what direction should he go? Ooh. South or west? Or are we getting so tired that maybe we should save it? I would say if it's on his turn, it'd probably get a good stopping point. Especially if you're being tired, we could probably pick up again. Yeah. Next I don't. Time. I don't mean to be that guy. Oh, I'm an old man. I need to sleep. But man, this is a blast. Like, if I had nothing going on tomorrow, I'd be like. Let's just keep on going. Like I'll get get some some sweet tea in me, and uh, we'll go for another four hours, and we'll we'll complete one more room. I'm kidding. Um, actually, let me just look at the quest real quick. I mean, I hate to give spoilers, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this is like a a third of the quest, believe it or not. So they they gave you a marathon game here. So this is this is not just me taking forever. This is they wrote this quest to be just a gauntlet. So I love it. Um, thanks everybody. Okay. So let me just go through and thank everybody. Cause that's something I learned. Uh, I want to say thank you to about W unless about W is a bot. Since I've got moderators in here, is that a bot? Um, We've got Big Schmoke 92 who's definitely not a bot. Thanks for supporting us. Commander Root, Elverg, Elviler, Ghost in a Taco, JaserJ22, LA Kaylee or La Kaylee. Um Oh, okay. Lana Ray, Mr. Bob Marston who just uh, played and then Rogue Girl and then of course Sound Alerts is a bot. Um so JaserJ wants to take a crack at the Fimmer or the Abomination. So I like how you use the classic. Like I played a game where I kept calling him the Fimmer. I couldn't stop. Just uh, love the original monster. Okay. Um, hey, Ghost and Taco. Like we trash talk each other all the time. So if you want to join in on that, that's cool too. And thanks for being a part of it. Appreciate it. Yeah, we have a good time. Okay. Um, so Jason J wants to uh, do some fighting. So, all right. Um, let's just say that the alchemist doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, shoot. He's biding his time. Yeah, he's going to bite his time. So, Strange Bus, you actually go before Jacer J. So, do you want to take another crack? You've got five. One, two, three, four, five. See, you can't even reach him yet. No, we'll let... I'll go ahead and bide my time as well. We'll let this J, J, J. do his moves. De uh, Deke's got this. Was that from, uh, what am I thinking of? Was it with the family guy's like, he's got this, guys. He goes up. I could take on the whole empire by myself. He flies up there. <laughs> Boom. Is that Dak? That's Dak. Dak. Yeah, that's not Dak. Deke. Dak. Yeah, I'm thinking of Deke. Deke. Deke Starkiller. Yeah, 12. Dak's got this, guys. Yay. He goes, he flies up. He just, all these star destroyers. He's just like, ping. It's just instantly destroyed. 12. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. All right. Uh, Night Big Smoke 92, thanks for joining us. Oh, a search for traps. Yeah, bye, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I, I should I take that back. Um, the Alchemist does move forward one square because he wanted to get off of that trap. Um, and he searches for traps and he finds that the, the square he was standing on has a swinging axe and the square that PSK was standing on has a swinging axe. Okay. Good move. All right, so now um, he's got enough movement so he can move in and he can attack the Fimmer Abomination. And then that's going to be the end of the quest. But let, or the not at the end of the quest. We're going to take a picture. 
we're gonna pick it up next next week. But yeah, let's first let's see what he gets in this epic combat. All right, so he is. What is he attacking with now? Ugh. Just dropping dice everywhere. Okay. Um, he attacks with a broadsword or a crossbow. Oh, what am I saying? He could have just walked into the room. Yeah, that would be smarter, wouldn't it? Jace or Jay, what do you think? Crossbow or broadsword? I See, I just marched you right up into his face. But, I mean, for all I know, you wanted to shoot him from across the room. What do you think, Jace or Jay? Crossbow or broadsword? Doorway. Doorway. Okay, so he's going to shoot. Snipe him. All right. Three skulls. Okay, so he may be a young kid. He may be brand new to Xbox Live. He may have turned the scope off on his sniper rifle. He may be on the other end of the map, but somehow... <laughs> All right. Chad, you're going full 2006 with this, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, full meme. He's going full. Never go full meme. All right. Uh, no defense. Clobbered him. And he uh, he sent uh, he sent a, a, a voice message to the Femmer on Xbox Live that was completely in violation of the terms of service. <laughs> Through the eye. <laughs> Through the eye. Right into the other guy's scope. Like like you know the two scopes are looking at each other and it's like somehow the bullet like which is completely impossible but it goes through and it hits him right in the eye. Ugh! Okay, one one last one for for old time's sake. One last one. One for the road. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Got him! All right, two more for the road. Okay. Got him. All right. Okay. Thanks everybody. I'm going to have to clean this up put all this stuff away uh get my desk back back set up thanks for joining us and hero quest fans definitely join us on the discord uh jace or jay do you have anything to plug we'll uh save this and these heroes can pick up next time we play whether it's you guys or somebody else uh we'll just save it we'll give everybody up <laughs> got him <I'll>, uh, <laughs> got him i will i will be uh I'll probably be streaming after this. It'll be something small. Oh, but, um, a raid. Sure. Interesting. Yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be, if anybody's interested, you don't know, but I'll be doing a Jedi Fallen Order because I did some mods for Fallen Order oh. um, to prep for my stream that didn't happen. So I'd like to do that. But if anybody's interested, I'll be streaming for like an hour or two, probably. Okay. So, yeah. So Strange Bus is doing a uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Cool. That's a game that's beyond the capabilities of my computer at this time. And I know, I know, I could easily upgrade to make it happen. Um, oh, yeah, just, you know, it's only like three grand to upgrade. Oh, you know, yeah. just go ahead. Well, actually, I think if I, if I get a docking station and a video card, so I could do it for six or seven hundred. Yeah. But oh, anyway, yeah. or I could get a PS4 or a Xbox One. You could in a capture card. Yeah. I mean, yeah. remote play works for those, so you can just capture that. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Well, uh, yeah, so we'll end the stream here. Thanks, everybody. HeroQuest fans, go check us out on Discord. If anybody else has anything to plug uh, within reason, go ahead and throw it in the chat. And we'll catch you catch you next week. End. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and stop the stream. We're going to do a raid. So everybody who wants to agree to the raid, just stop in and say hello. Support Strange Bus. Um, have a good time. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Good game. Hero Quest Thanks fan. for having me Thanks for, for at least much. a little bit. Yeah, I'm glad you could make it. That's awesome. I hope everything's good at home. Yeah. Cool. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. Yeah, that's the spirit. All right, everybody take care. Have a good night. Stay safe.